Yes, hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Ghana Football Fantasy. And of course, happy FPL managers. How are you? I hope everything is fine. We had an exhausting day. We really had an exhausting day. All of us in our professional life. So that's why we are kind of very sorry that we are starting late. But I hope you guys are still there and, you know, you guys can join and, you know, you guys can have a chat with us. Uh, but first and foremost, before I start, I just want to apologize of the fact that, you know, we are very late. And we are very late because of one reason and one reason only. So I've been the professional no, don't blame one somebody. Even I was late. So let's not blame individuals. Let's just um, say the truth. The truth is, ask it, Dhaka Prochu traffic chilo. And we've been stuck for three hours in traffic. Now, traffic is thakle jeta hoi bhai. We cannot promise you when we are going to come back. So, amra barite posesi holo shara dashta na pone agarota dike. Then we had to take a freshen up. And then we had to go and eat our dinner. And then we had to immediately dress up and come and sit here in front of you to do the live. Right? So, that's been the problem. So, very sorry for that. I'm very sorry for not being able to live up to the time. I hope you understand. Yeah? But anyway, we, we are going to have everything covered and we are going to answer all your questions and we are going to go through all everything. And hope you all are still having a great game week. The triple captain Salah Dishan, good luck with it. I'm not going to go and comment on that. Uh, Saif is still smiling about it. Ashfaq has a kind of a smuggy face on his... Uh, look at that smug look on Ashfaq's face, by the way. And now not he's trying everyone, to be... You know, like, not oh. everyone has good looks as you, Bhai. So right, but don't, don't don't give that smug look when people when I talk about triple captain Salah, you know, it, it looks it looks it looks a little bit uh, different, yeah. But anyway, um, thanks, and there are comments already coming in, so I'll just bring those comments up. Mahmoudul Hassan Munin, good to see you, brother, and thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum, guys. What's up? Well, walaikum assalam, Mahmoudul Hassan Munin. What's up? Well, nothing much. We were stuck in the traffic for three hours, and we just returned. And that's why we started late. And we want to say sorry about it. That's all that is up. Rest, it's all FPL. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, Haminu Nain says, Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Wa alaikum assalam, Haminu Nain. Good to see you, brother. And thank you so much for joining, of course. And look who's here. The man who scored 165 with his wild card says, Great energy, guys. Good to see you. Gali Mahmud Bhai. What a game week you had. Game week 29. কপাল পোড়া আসিল যে আমি বেঞ্চ বুস্ট খেলি নাই ঠিক আছে ইউ ক্যান অলওয়েজ শেয়ার দিস This is a story that goes to your granddads, you know. I mean, grandchildren and, you know, you can pass it on from generation to generation. Good to see you, bhai. Good to see you. Right. And look, who's back? Saif. Look, who's here? Who's here? Sharaf. Good to see you, brother. Saif bhai naam kore akta kake ansen. That's exactly, I, I don't know. Somebody is wearing a Liverpool jersey. Khub manja mai ra ashte. Thikas hai. Shep tep koi ra. Thikas. I don't know who this guy is. I, I last time met the, the, a guy called Saif who was looking totally different. I mean, I think that's what I'm Right. Nadim Namir is a host. I should have changed it. I think a clean shaven guy needs to come in, in as a host, you know. Not somebody who has got grey beard. I think that's what I'm saying. I mean, Shadagalo Chul and all that stuff. I'm saying that the viewers are George Clooney. George Clooney is not the viewers. Right, okay, George Clooney, okay. Um, Ocean's Eleven, okay, let's go into Ocean's Eleven then. Arabic bhai is from all the way from Maldives, still awake, and he gives his love. Thank you so much, bhai. And then Hamim No. 9 says, new Saib bhai. You see Saib? <laughs> well, yeah, it is new, new Saib bhai, of course. Huh? One week only. Yeah, one week only, yeah, probably, probably. But anyway, Tejjun dekhte sen, and we are sorry if, um, we are really happy that Tejjun ahon dekhte sen, to be honest. This is great. Amra ek gonta pore ashi, and you guys are still there. So glad, and we sorry, we are really sorry for joining so late. 
Dhaka traffic er karone we couldn't say today anyway. So so sorry for that. Yeah. So I'm um, Dilwa Taha says hello brothers. Um, so good to see. So yeah, those are the welcome comments that we got, and it's it's good um, that we got it. But anyway, let's go to the show, and I hope we, Saif and Ashfaq, you guys are having a great game week. I'm still on top of uh, Ashfaq, of course, so I'm still having a great game week. Um, Cancelo gave nine points. I kept Cancelo on the bench. I was I'm sure till I'm a Cortino ke kalabu na Cancelo ke kalabu kake kalabu, and then somehow I felt like okay Cortino ke kalai, and then Cortino get two and. Uh, Man City failed to score, and this guy got uh, nine points, and now I have a rank drop so far. So yeah, it doesn't look really promising. But anyway, so could have had more than nine. Cancelo could have had more than nine. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the thing. I mean, would have, would have, didn't. He was. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, he was I, the main attacker yesterday. Yeah, it was. It was, and I was awake. I, I was awake. I had a very busy day today, to be honest. I was awake till two thirty, three thirty last night. Then woke up in the morning, took my kids, then went to office, and then just came back at ten thirty. And now I'm live here. So it's been a hectic day. And at you know last you night when I two thirty, I saw like yeah, and, and then I saw two two thirty. I saw that you know this guy kept a clean sheet. I was like. I said, "Din ta shuru is a kharab diya." Mane this whole day is going to bad, go bad, and it really went bad. I can tell you that it just went from bad to worse. Anyway, but anyway, audience, thank you so much. And this is Futa Lochana, of course, weekly Ghana show, as you know. And we will, as usual, request you to please subscribe, please provide reviews on our page. We would really appreciate that. On a bhalo bhalo katha apna re ekhane comment lakhen. Can you just say that on our review page and give us? Some sort of a rating, two star, three star, whatever you think is, you know, we deserve. Just give that. We really appreciate that. That would be very nice for us. And of course, do follow and you know, keep watching and keep supporting. That's right. of course so something any, we do. Any uh, any kind of review will do. It has to be honest. Uh, any bad reviews or anything, we will take it as con constructive criticism. So we can be better. So if viewers can give an honest review, what, whatever you think of, it doesn't need to be good. I think that is where we can work on to improve our show a bit better. Yeah, there's one review I can definitely expect. Please start on time. <laughs> there's one review that I'm definitely expecting. Please start on time. So I, I'm 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 fine with it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah. So it's okay. Um, you you can share such reviews as well if you want to. I mean, we have no problem. Everything that you say negative is going to be something that we'll take it very positively. In order to say like, okay, this is where we are not really doing well, and this is what we need to improve. So that's that's what your negative comment will do to us. So please do. Okay, um, so let's go straight into the show. So today, guys, we are going to talk about very few things. We are going to talk about fixture ticker. Because I have a blank game week, as you know, two ticker game week, double game week. I have one to chat the matter fixture. So one to dhira jobe. So this is the station that we are talking about. If we station a pore, then the other train just should be. Last stop is direct gaming 38. So we got to be uh, careful about that. And this is why we have this fixture ticker. So I'll just quickly go through the fixture ticker for you guys. And then uh, we will have other components. comparison uh, Defenders, forwards and uh, midfielders. And then we have a free hit. And we have captaincy. And beside that, it's all about uh, question and answers, of course. So yeah, we are going to do all that uh, very quickly, and then we'll get back to the questions. Yeah. So coming to the fixture ticker, as you can see, Tottenham is on top of the fixture ticker. Still has a very good fixture. Ekthrishay, Bothrishay, Tethrishay, they still have good fixture. Um, they are already triple up Tottenham. Tottenham ase on ekiri. So stick to those triple up Tottenhams. That's one. Arsenal has also very good fixture. Crystal Palace and Brighton and Southampton, as well as Aston Villa this game week. So, I'm other on a key about double up but triple up as Arsenal. So, that's another good thing. West Ham night, of course, Bowen is another exception, but Bowen on a key touch the body now. Talk the body Antonio is something that you can consider, but of course, player wise, I'm not going into the details of players, but yeah, these are the assets that you can always bring in. Then there is Leeds, and of course, Shobar on a key team, Rafina. So, that's another thing that you can do. Cotino is still there in our team, so you can see at least both three, three. 
rules kodi onek team e ache so there there is not going to be much change needed ar ki basically fixture ticket theke team gula jodi amra clearly dekhi i'm not going to go into specific teams to be honest but what i'm trying to say is apnara jodi fixture ticket ta clearly dekhen you can clearly see one thing that onek beshi transfer ashole dorkar nei thik ache just jeta problem hobe je ekhon kichu double game mix dhukbe so that will change the things a little bit more ट्रांसफार So I think that's fine, yeah. So that's that's how it looks like. Of course, you will get this again uh, more updated as soon as we get more fixture information and all stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now let's move to the free hit one. I'll just read the free hit team for you guys. And the free hit team, all of jala, our chip strategy. Look at us. Yesterday, in there, our chip strategy is the A B C chilo. So A strategy, jala apply korte sen jada jone A strategy to pojojo. जनाल But in the midfield, it is again Arsenal. Actor Saka is it. Madison and Barnes we have it because Lister has a good fixture, and then you have Son and Kulishevsky from Tottenham. So that's the midfield, and then on the third uh, forward section, you have Kane, of course, who is in super form. Lacazette, of course, he has scored 200 career goals now, so that he's again back to his confidence. And the man Tony, of course, who has scored five goals in the, over the last two game weeks. So that's that. So over to you guys. Um, I'll first give the floor to um, Saif, and then I'll come to you, Ashwat. What do you think about this team, and where do you think is a kind of change needed? Can you give the A team to banana the chai? What do you think will be the difficulties, but challenges, but flaws, and where do you see can you know we can improve, and how do we improve that? Over to you, Saif, and then Ashwat can come in. Hit, hit, hit. I mean, our data first. I mean, try to reach. Try to pick a strong eleven. So you can just take a strong fifteen now. So bench ne ekta special headache hobe. So on bench points ne pora dekha jabe to to regret thake jabe kisu. So I mean try korbo je. I mean try kortam. Amar jodi khela. I mean khelta am jodi. I mean try kortam je first best eleven pick korte. So amar best eleven obviously Rafi na thakbe. So Rafi na kena naik. So on Wolves side dura defender asse. Amar mono ne Wolves kono clean sheet tag bera leads se chhate. So leads have been playing pretty well under Marsh. They are. XG difference has been third or fourth best in the league since March. March took on the role. So and Rafina has been pretty unlucky so far, despite the last late assist uh, in the last match. But I think his time will come. He might just hit a double figure in any of the coming game weeks. So I think Rafina should be there. And Wolves double defense I don't like. So I would uh, also Aston Villa double defense I would, I don't like because I don't think any of Aston Villa. Or Arsenal will keep a clean sheet here, so I would definitely look to try uh, a Tottenham defender instead of a Tottenham midfield double up. So I would pick Rafinha or Kulusevski, and then pick Doherty or De- Doherty. I would I would definitely pick because he has this attacking potential ahead of Mings or one of the two Wolves defenders. So I'd pick. Uh, uh, I would take Tierney ahead of uh, White because of his attacking potential. As I said, that I would want to be bring more value in the starting eleven. So there's that. So I would pick Kiarni and Doherty ahead of the five chosen here, and then play another one. And then I would look to play five or four in the midfield. And my my four would be Saka, Son, Rafinha, and Barnes. And then the three forwards are the best picks in my opinion in this game week. And I think. Even though there is Tony in the lineup, I think Leicester might keep a clean sheet or at least keep some uh, safe safe points. So Michael sh- could be a good option in the starting position, or Sa is also fine because he always gives some 
good set points. That's my opinion. Right. Thanks, Saif. Um, Ashfaq, so let's, let's just assume that all the changes that Saif said, and you're going to incorporate all those changes into the team, yeah? Like Doherty and, you know, Tierney coming in and, you know, like possibly like you think Pats and Dhaka might be an option. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going into Pats and Dhaka. I tried to uh, scout him this game week and I was kind of pretty disappointed with the way Lister was playing. So, yeah, we wouldn't go into that direction. But if that is the team, let's just say like, you know, all the changes that Saif said and you are kind of um, accommodating all those changes. How would you shape up your best 11? Well, first of all, I agree with Saif. This is basically a team set for uh, playing uh, 15, 15 players where you should actually focus on 14, oh, sorry, 11. Um, so, Doherty would be one transfer that, that should be a must. I think, I think Doherty for a defender has one of the highest upsides for giving a high amount of points. Um, I would definitely play Cash, uh, Cody, and I would play Doherty. So that's Cash, Cody, and Doherty. Or I could play Sa or take, like side by side, I could take Tierney instead. So yeah, that's that would be Sa, Cash, Tierney, and then Doherty. That's three on the um, uh, defender part. Uh, Saka will stay, Madison will stay, Son will stay. Uh, Kulusevsky won't won't stay because I have already taken in Doherty. So one of the midfielders would probably have to go. Kane would definitely be captain. So Kane has to be there. No doubt about that. Um, regarding Madison and Barnes, well, Saka, Madison and Son, three will be. I would really love a differential pick here. Um, but I don't know who the differential pick, good differential pick uh, in this midfield lineup would be. I have my eye on Ericsson, but I'm not sure if Ericsson is a um, stable pick at this moment. Uh, he also... would be a good pick. Don't forget. Ben Rahma. Okay. Ben Rahma. Side Ben Rahma. Ben Rahma, right. So Ben Rahma's concern is, I think, uh, based on whether Bowen, Bowen is fit enough to, fit enough Bowen to play. Bowen is not that fit. Game. We will know in the uh, Sevilla, Se before the Sevilla game, I think. The last news which we, we have is he's really, you know, taking, uh, doing his best to be fit for the Sevilla game. So if he's, you know, if even if he makes the bench for the Sevilla game, I think there's, there's a chance he might play uh, for game week 30. Um, so my fourth midfielder, if you want to go for a more stable pick, I think would be Coutinho. I think he has a decent amount of ownership and most people who are not playing uh, would play the free hit, I think will have Coutinho there. So that's Saka, Madison, Son and Coutinho. Uh, regarding the strikers, uh, Kane and Lacazette would be there. Um, Tony, I'm not sure, although he scored back-to-back -back doubles in the last two game weeks. I have my eye on Ihenacho as well. I'm not sure whether I would take Tony or Ihenacho, but definitely either either of those two. So that would be a very late call for me. So, so ultimately, that will be Cash, Tierney, Doherty, Saka, Madison, San, Coutinho, Kane, Lacazette, and someone between Tony and Ihenacho. Goalkeeper would definitely be San. Right. Okay. I think that clears it up. That clears it up. So yeah, now that now that you said all these teams and you know all these players that you said, now the reason why we think these are the good players is because of this. When we look at the stats point of view, so I will just bring up another table, which is kind of the defender comparison table, and I will tell you exactly why we think you know Doherty, like I said, Doherty, you guys said Cash, you know Wolves defense is not really ideal. We shouldn't be playing double de Wolves defense. All that stuff, yeah. Let's just try to justify th through this particular table. Now look at it. Look at Doherty, and I'm I'm going to be very brief about this, yeah, because I think if you really look at it properly, you don't need to really go into the, all the details. But if you look at Doherty, I mean, I'm not going to go into the appearance and the goals. What I'm really going to go into is the first one is the assist one. Clearly, stands out, right? In terms of value for money, in terms of number of assists, in terms of less number of matches played, Doherty stands out. Cash and Shatajudemi comparison, both have three assists, but then 
dot e has those three advantages that I am already told. Then you talk about the XG, which is very important. Because I am not only showing Parvez's idea. That I am saying that Dinia is more of assist and Cash is more of goal. That is why Parvez Cash is not there, and he got all the bloody good points of Cash and Aklaf. He could take a good look at that. So that's that's his argument, and I think this is where we need to look at it. So XG point of view, that I am not just saying. Dot e has 0.79. And cash has 0.72. Cody and White doesn't even come close. Okay, sir. Now, if you look at the clean sheets again, that's 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 important. But then again, you know, Dorothy has a very little bit of a tough fixture uh, sort of this week, game week 29. But on 30 again, from 30 onwards, things starts to improve. But cash's fixture will get a little bit tricky. Ekta bhalo, ekta kharaab, ekta bhalo, ekta kharaab. So that's something that you can. And he already missed the boat. To be honest, I feel. That cashier boat actually, our Nukat actually already chole gaya sir. The train has left the station to be honest. So I don't think so. There is much he can do. Penalty area touches is another interesting point. Although less matches kills it, but this is where cash stands out. 18, 18 touches, but Doherty less match kill. Two ta match less kill or poor the Doherty penalty touches. Then again, nowhere White and um, Cody comes in to be honest. Very close. Yeah, goal items is interesting again. Considering the Doherty and Cash, four and four and six, so that that makes it very interesting. APL goal involvement, you see, see, thirty eight again, slightly because Beshi match kills it. Again, thirty three. But you know, looking at this entire chart, there is one thing very clear: is that if you really don't have the budget to accommodate Cash, go for Doherty. I mean, that's as simple as that. And stick with Doherty. I don't think so. There is much. I am. I am not only in NFLC already. So, when I am in NFLC, I don't think so. You need to jump the ship again. Like, boy, I am going to cash it. Start thinking. Man, it is very good. Let's jump from Doherty to cash now. Let's not do that because Doherty is going to make it up anyway. Do you think match come khela poro? The stat is equally quite close to cash. And cash came to bigger to do in match. The performance that guy said. I don't think so. He is going to sustain that performance. He has been overperforming. Okay, guys. So that's something that we need to keep in mind. Whereas Doherty is kind of consistently playing the same way. So yeah, that's that's the thing. I don't think so. Cody and White makes any sort of comparison here. So I'm not going to really go into that one and waste my time. So yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm not going to ask any questions. I don't think so. We need to answer any all the any questions right now about this one. So let's go into the midfield comparison quickly. Ashfaq, over to you on this one. Right. Uh, thank you, Narim Bhai. So, midfield comparison of the first uh, assets we are going to focus on is obviously the Spurs assets because I think uh, Spurs assets will be a great captaincy contender this week or uh, in the coming week. None so more than Son and Kane. Uh, Son is a great contender because <laughs> if you look at Son's XG over the uh, other options, Son's XG really stands out. Uh, even though. Uh, he has not been, you know, in the last six game weeks. He has he has scored he has scored three goals, and, and just uh, just a second. Okay. Just one second. As fuck, you are stuck. I think. Am I audible now? Yeah, much better. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I I I had to take a phone call. Really sorry. So, uh, goals and assists. So, what we can see that Son's ex goals involvement in the in in the Spurs team is really really high, and that is why he's a great captaincy contender this this week. If I'm not considering Kane, um, Kulusevski. XG is not so high, but expected assets for Kulusevski is really, really high. And at this price point, I think he's one of the one of a great pick uh, because of this price point. Uh, moving on to Saka, uh, the great thing about Saka stands out is because of his uh, point potential. Because as you can see from the comparison, he's way over the penalty area touches uh, for a midfielder. He's always getting into the box, box creating chances. Um, Nadim Bhai told me to take Saka instead of Willock two weeks ago, which I didn't. Uh, 
আমি আর সাইড ভাই দুজনেই মহিলা কোনার দুজনেই ভুগতেছি সেটা যেন নতুন করে কিছু বলার নাই সো সাকা আই থিং আনাদার ইজ আনাদার প্লেয়ার হু হ্যাজ আ গ্রেট গ্রেট পয়েন্ট পটেনশিয়াল কামিং ইনটু গেম উইথ 30 আই থিং ইফ ইউ আর প্লেইং দা ফ্রি হিট অর ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট হ্যাভ সাকা সাকা ইজ ওয়ান অফ দা মাস্ট হ্যাভস ফর ফর দিস গেম क्लीन नो Finally, Harvey Barnes, I think, is a bit of a differential pick. The thing with Harvey Barnes is that he usually plays as, as a, sometimes plays as a second striker. He takes a lot of shots, misses a lot of shots. My go-to pick, rather than Harvey Barnes, would be Madison. I think Madison has a higher, higher XGI. I expected goals involvement for Le- Leicester City. He's also on corners and set pieces. So... If you can afford the extra 0.1 or 0.2, I think uh, Madison is the way to go because Harvey Barnes to me is a bit more inconsistent. So between this, obviously Son and Kulusas, they are the standout picks. After that, definitely Saka. Uh, if you're playing the free hit, definitely go for Coutinho like we mentioned a bit earlier on the free hit team. Barnes is a bit of a differential pick. If you're going for a Spurs asset, I would say rather go for Madison because of his HGI. So... rank game at 30 it's harry kane he has been in tremendous form he will be the most captain player i think because of his form and because of the fixtures of other teams and his team so also you can see that he is dominating almost all the stats his expected goals is more than 4 expected assists is more than, more, one point, more than 1.5 and if you even discount the penalties even then he is coming on top he has expected uh, goals non penalty 3 point more than uh, 3.5 and he has been taking lots of shots we have seen in the previously that he has been dropping down and trying to link the play he has been he has been doing that but still he has been taking a lots of shots in and out of the box and also from the set plays and from the corners so he is the main focus point of spurs attack so i think he will deliver good this game week and the coming game week so he is a must if you don't have him try to bring him in somehow and he is i think he should be the first pick if you are free hitting this game week and another thing is compared to lacazette and tony if you see he has more assist much more assist potential because he has created four big chances compared to one for both lacazette and tony and lacazette has been doing well assist wise he has not scored in the past nine games before this game week and he has finally i think the shackles have been broken he might score a few more now because strikers thrive on confidence so he needed that goal now that he has got this his goal i think he might go on some sort of score, scoring streak and he is the main striker of arsenal and he is very vital to how they play and so he is a good pick this game and also for the game weeks to come tony is a bit of a wild card pick because he has not been in much of a good form in the last few game weeks but he has burst into the scene after a hat trick and a hat trick and a brace in this game week hat trick in the last game week and a brace in the this game week. and as i mentioned in the previous show that i think what happened with tony is the um, emergence of christian erikson erikson has been signed in the january window and now he has been integrated and he has he has been training hard and now he has started back to back games and because of ericsson's presence tony has does not need to drop have not have needed to drop down a, 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 like he used to in the previous games to link up the play now he can be in and around the box so and ericsson is the one who is finding him this game week too he scored from an ericsson cross and also if you can see you can say that 
Tony has scored five goals, but three of them are three of them are penalties. So these are not sustainable. But if you look at that, look at who has earned the penalties. Tony himself has uh, has earned two of the three penalties. So he is the one getting in the box. And if even if he was not fouled, he might have gone to gone on to score nonetheless. So I think Tony can be a good pick if you are on free hit. I think you can definitely punt on it. But if you're not on free hit. Uh, he might be a bit of a stretch because of the fixtures to come. But as I said, the strikers thrive on confidence. He is now very much a confident player because of the recent goals. So he might just go on scoring despite the difficult fixtures. So I think these three are the standout picks this game week. And Kane is the one I think you should prioritize, even uh, uh, whether you free hit or not. Okay. I'm not free hitting. I'm not free hitting. So I don't know if I should prioritize Kane or not. In order to prioritize Kane, I have to take minus 12, which I'm not taking. So yeah, good luck to me. Ashfaq, you have the chance to take me over now. Yeah. But anyway, Ashfaq, you're muted. You said something. You're muted. Yeah, I said, I said not really. Like, I've already okay. declared you the champion, right? Ah. Uh, yeah, that's a fuck for you. And day after tomorrow, he, I mean, by game 32, he'll overtake again and then he'll say, I'm back again. Yeah. So never trust all these kind of messages coming from Ashfaq. Never. Never trust. Don't. All right. Let's go to the questions. Yeah. Let's go to the questions now. Um, there are quite a number of questions already. So we'll quickly answer all the questions now. And then in between, we'll discuss the captaincy. So so we'll discuss that. I'm sure there'll be questions about captaincy as to if Son or Kane or somebody else is better shout. Or even Salah, although he has a blank game week. Yeah, we can always factor Salah in, right? During a blank game week, right? Anyway, jokes aside. Um Ahmed Anu, thank you so much, Bhaya, for your question. Um Dennis Broja of Wang and Mane to Kane and Madison with a minus four. Korgovi, bhai. Saif, I'll start with you. What do you think? I think it's a good good option. Kane definitely is, as I said, he should be the priority. And Dennis or Broya, I think Dennis uh, should be the one to go because Broya is a bit cheaper and he's play, he plays for the better team in Southampton. Sorry, you have all three. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I would say drop Wang first because his minutes are not secured, secured. And he does not play for that much attacking team in Wood. So I, I would say Wang and Mane to Kane and Madison. But I would prefer Barnes over Madison because I think Barnes is the one who bears the scoring burden in the absence of Hardy for Leicester. So I think Barnes will score more goals. And Madison, I think, has been suffering from niggling injuries. So he has been in and out of the team. So I don't think uh, you can trust him with his fitness right now. So I would say Kane and Barnes. Right. Okay. I saw a haha reaction. I don't know why this haha reaction came when you're talking about Ericsson Saif. About the impact of Ericsson, um, the ha reaction came from someone. I don't know what was funny about it, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, if some whoever the person is can actually tell us what was the joke about, we would be appreciate. You know, we would appreciate. If we can share that joke over here right now, right? Okay. Um, Farad Muhammad, good to see you, brother, and thanks for reaching out via messenger. Uh, hello, brothers. I was tense too about traffic. I got lucky. It took me one hour to reach Janginagar from Danmundi 32. Well, good for you. That was at 5.30 p.m. I wish you were traveling from uh, Danmundi to Janginagar at around 9 o'clock today. I would say you would probably reach Janginagar now. Yeah. 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 That, that, but that would be my assumption. Yeah. Hamimur 9 then says, um, nothing by change. I mean, I can be live. Right. Okay. Thanks. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to. Uh, okay, I'm not going to dwell into that. Ashfaq. Thanks for the salute, by the way, with your two fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tawibul Hassan. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Yeah. Walaikum assalam, brother. Good to see you, of course. Uh, thank you for joining. It's late night, and you guys are still there. We really appreciate this. Chabbi Jun, dekhte I can still see it, and we really appreciate this. Thank you so much for all the love you guys are showing. Right, Zain Abrad, good to see you, brother. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Wa alaikum assalam. Trip and cap fail course. Kun bandel bish khawa jai. Ashfaq, I think you are in the right position to advise on the bish. So, uh, viewers, Jara Zain Abrad, he was on the show a couple of weeks back. 
um, basically Nadim Bhai from time to time gets new members to replace me on the show. So he was one of them. So anyway, Zain Abrar uh, has a, had a decent week. Zain Abrar is a big Barcelona fan. Uh, triple cap she Salah ke dise obviously so Salah there's a good chance Salah still might play so I kono mean, fail course amra bolte parbo na to shekhane Zain Abra jeta kore she mane I mean, if I'm being blunt she to Nakami kore to so, Nakami korte se arki right right exactly reverse jinx korte se arki kon band er bish kha jay um, ei byapare ami bolbo because Zain is a big Barcelona fan je band er bish ke Messi PSG te gechilo to so, shei brand er i khaile mone hoy bhalo hobe Okay, I am not going to comment on that because Zahim is going to come very strongly at me. So I am yes, going yes. to be diplomatic. Yes. I'm going. I'm going to be diplomatic in this case. Expect, expect follow up. Follow up comments. No, but I expect. I expect to take a very diplomatic position based on my professional experience when it comes to such circumstances. You know, silence is golden at times. You know, I'll abstain from commenting any further. Right, Sheikh Shumon Bhai then says, "Barnes or Madison better pick Kya Habe." Ashfaq, what do you think about this? have a different verdict to uh, what side by side i still think madison has a better xgi than barnes bar the thing with barnes is yes obviously he takes a lot of shots he sometimes plays as a second striker but barnes takes a lot of shots and burns misses a lot too so although his xg is pretty high i have not seen barn to be a very consistent performer uh, rather madison has been proven to be a bit more consistent than him and like i said he's on set pieces he's on corners i think he, he has a better chance of scoring points in the coming week right um ashfaq just a piece of advice i think you should listen to adele's song go easy on me yeah when it comes to abra uh, zain yeah i just wanted to say that just go easy on him don't go too strong on zain uh, listen to adele's song I think that will be good for you. Um, Talhan Adim Shawn, good to see you, brother. And long time no see, of course. And glad that you you joined. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, will Wong play? Ashwa um, Saif. Uh, we don't really know that because he was not a sure starter. And I think he has some sort of injury now. I am not sure. But... We can't yeah, really so, say if you will play or not. Yeah, so I have a I have a bit of update on that. So uh, Wang basically has a back injury, and Bruno Lage has not really um, clarified on the extent of the injury. But um, Talha Nadim Shaun uh, the thing with Wolves is that, like we said in the previous spot, the Wolves has not been scoring goals, and suddenly they're one of their uh, few of their. Uh, strikers or forward lines who, which which were absent previously are now available such as Neto and Poden so uh, chances are Wang even when Wang was fit there's a good chance that he would not have uh, kept his place because you know Neto and Poden has come in and if Wolves are not scoring goals I think uh, Bruno Lage would really shift things up up front so Wang on the, in the long run I don't think is a safe pick anymore but on the regarding the back injury, uh, I think you will have a better clarity before the game on the press conference, because after the game, Bruno Lage did not really clarify how bad is the bad back, back injury. Right, right. This, this because Ashfaq answered that question. Ashfaq answered that question anyway. So Saif, I'll come to you, of course. Can you guys hear me, or is my internet very unstable? I can hear you, but uh, I can. Uh, your your, your face screen, is a bit screen is frozen. Screen is frozen. Screen is frozen. I can hear you. Okay, I think I think it's my internet which is kind of creating a little bit of an issue. So let me just keep it like that uh, for the time being. Um, so Asan Diplab Bhai is asking. Asan Diplab Bhai, thank you so much. Why can't I bring that? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Um, this is seriously problem. Okay. Now here it is. Sorry, 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 guys. Um, not my fault. It's all technical issues. Anyway, 
Um, Asan Diplabai, thank you so much. I'm glad that you joined us again. Uh, thank you so much for the question as well. Cody uh, minus 14, Rhinus minus 10, but in the bench. Okay, so that's a comment actually, not a question. So it's a comment. Um, so yes, yeah, Saif, Sharaf comes back with a question and it's a long question. So good luck to you, Saif, for that. Uh, Sharaf asks, is it okay to have eight, nine players for gimmick 30 and roll my free transfers as double gimmicks are coming for most of the teams? That might help me to plan for double gimmick as I have already used my wild card. By the way, just to let everybody know, if you have not heard yet, Burnley and Everton have got double gimmick 31. So just that you know. Yeah. Over to you, Saif. Can you answer this question? I think it's a pretty sound plan because uh, gimmick 30 is likely to be a low scoring gimmick anyway. So if you can have the uh, highly owned players covered, so you can get by with eight or nine players and roll your FD, FD and use, use it for the double gimmicks and attack the double gimmicks. Uh, so if you have triple arsenal, at least two arsenal players and triple spars and then the players like Rafina or Coutinho, and then some lesser coverage. So I think eight or nine players should be good enough for game of 30. And then your FT can be used for the double gimmicks to come. As Nadim Bay already said, the double gimmick 31 has been announced. Despite the two teams who are who, have, who, will, who will have double gimmicks are not in the best of form and are not that much attractive, but still double gimmicks are double gimmicks. We all like to target double gimmicks. So I think it's a pretty sound plan to play eight or nine and then roll the, roll the FT. I don't think there is much upside in just taking a hit and go for going for it. Eleven blank lemon players, blank lemon players. Right, I'm also going with um, eight players only, provided Wang plays. So Ashura Amar team of Wang as I'm really looking forward to that. I might take a minus four. Might might take a minus four, but yeah, I'll I won't have more than nine players. That's that's for sure. So yeah, okay. Um, Ashfaq, Hamimno nine says um, Ramsdale, Cash, Doherty, Court, Cotino, Ramsey, Kulu, Son, Wang. My guns for gimmick thirty. Whom should I bring in? Nine. Thank you for the question, bro. Thank you so for the question. Uh, Hamimno nine, bro. Thank you for the question. Uh, regarding your team, I see that you have eight players playing, provided Wang plays. There's a good chance he might not. If he does not, you have seven players. Um, this is a decent team, but I think the only players missing here are probably Arsenal assets. Uh, Saka should be a priority in your team. Or if you can't afford Saka, Martinelli could be a good option as well. But definitely you should have some Arsenal representation in your team. <coughs> right. Thanks, Ashfaq. Saif, what is your question for you? ঠিক আছে বড় বড় মানুষ বড় বড় ম্যানেজারদের জন্য বড় বড় क्वेश्चन ঠিক আছে বড় বড় দেশে মে বড় বড় क्वेश्चन আতে রাতে সেনোরিটা দ্যাটস হোয়াট শাহরুখ খান উড হ্যাভ সেড প্রবাবলি লুকিং এট অল দিস কাইন্ড অফ সিচুয়েশন বাট এনি ইমান সাইড গুড টু সি ইউ ব্রাদার এন্ড থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ সো মাচ ফর দা क्वेश्चन বাই দা ওয়ে আম সালাম ব্রাদার্স আই হ্যাভ এইট প্লেয়ার্স ইন ব্ল্যাঙ্ক গেম উইথ 30 প্ল্যানিং টু টেক মাইনাস 4 ফর ডোরটি এন্ড ওয়াইড বাই সেলিং ডিনি এন্ড বার্ন হাউ ইজ ইট নরমালি দুইটা নন প্লেইং প্লেয়ার এর জায়গায় মাইনাস 4 নিলে 2 প্লাস 2 অ্যাপিয়ারেন্স পয়েন্ট এর হিটে কভার হয়ে যায় Am I right? What do you think? I think it can be a good hit. Because Doharthi is one I really like. We, uh, we, have, we have mentioned his attacking potential so, uh, previously. So Doharthi is a good option. Dean has an injury, so he would not have played anyway. So I think Dean should be a pretty safe transfer to transfer out. Safe player to transfer out. And Barn. Although Newcastle might have a double gimmick in 33, I think they will. There's 90% certain to have a double gimmick, but I think you can sell Burn now for White because White can be a season keeper. Arsenal have good fixtures to come and also have uh, quite a few fixtures to reschedule. They will have at least two double gimmicks, I think. So White can be good option. So I think it's a pretty sound hit, Duarte and White for Dean and Burn. Right. Okay. So Mr. Robertson is back. Mr. Robertson is back. Asif Ahmedanik. He is Mr. Robertson, by the way, if you don't know him. Um, Asif, good to see you, brother. And thank you so much for joining. Or Anik, good to see you, brother. Thank you for joining. Free eating in Gimmick 30. Please pick two for Cotino, 
टू फ्रम कटिंग और राफिंग बार्स एंड मेडिसिन दू जन के पिक करते हैं एट द मोमेंट आई एम लिविंग टू एज डबल लिस्टर मेड योर ओपिनियन प्लीज वोट यू थिंक अशफा Mm, well, the popular picks would be Coutinho and Rafinha, obviously. Uh, Barnes and Madison, I would not recommend doubling up on them uh, because there's a bit of argument against both of them, right? Uh, I have argued argued against Barnes and uh, Saibai so already argued against Madison. He thinks Barnes is a better pick. I think Madison is a better pick. Doubling up. I don't think Leicester has shown enough of form to actually warrant doubling up on them, whereas Brentford, on the other hand, has shown some kind of form. Um, if you're really set on investing in a Leicester asset, I would say go with Madison. Uh, the second asset you should go with is Coutinho. Um, Rafinha is a good pick, but I, I like Saib Bai said, he has been really unlucky not to score, but. For this game week, I think I would rate uh, Coutinho over Rafinha, and if you want to invest in the Leicester act attack, maybe Madison over Barnes. Yeah, now this you is what I would just pick these two, and I would pick the other two. Right, you're playing safe. I, I mean, this is this is what I wanted to just say. Uh, Onik has a different way of playing. He has a very different vision of playing FPL. And that's why I call him Mr. Robertson because he was the first guy who prompted about making the Robertson move. Akon who kore shobai jati char shobta pore, ma paach shobta ba chhoy shobta pore in fact. But that's the that's the way he plays. He has a very different vision of it. So Madison. But by the way, I'm um, on it. I just wanted to say if you're picking going for Barnes and Madison, I would go with Madison more because of the zonal weakness. And just to let you know that Barnley, uh, Brentford, sorry. I've considered 23 chances from the center. Now, if Barnes is actually playing more central rather than Patson Daka or Ihenacho, then Barnes is a very good option. Now, I don't know who is going to actually play central, but whoever plays central has a better chances of scoring. So, yeah. I think, so, yeah. I think, I think we can get, a, get an idea about their playing 11. Leicester has a game against Rennes. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay. All right. So Aminu Nine comes back with a question. In addition, I have two free hits. Thirty three use score or not? Sorry. So this is a follow up question to the previous question that Aminu Nine asked. Je Arjun ke khela be or whom should I bring in? So that bit of free to asa, but three sheet kono use score be kina. What do you think? So this was his previous question, by the way. A player gula chilo al guitar, right? So what do you think, guys? Should he play free it or should he not play free it? Um, if he already has those players without the free hit, Hamidou uh, Naimai, uh, like you said before, we are expecting this to be a low-scoring game week. So if you already have eight players, I don't see a reason to play your free hit. I don't think there's a big upside to it. Uh, on the other hand, if you're playing the free hit and you're bringing in those players, that's a separate story. But if you already have those players, I suggest I don't think there's any much upside to playing the free hit this week. Right, true, and I agree. Um, Hamid no nine, just to let you know, actually, general mode the take. I mean, bis june ke select korte bari, but bis june mode the take. Pono june ke select kora too difficult. Akhon je situation ashte shita lo bis june mode the take. Amader ke pono june ke select korte hote. So basically, everybody's team is going to look more or less the same, whether you play free hit or not. Kuch beshi le tadar hote bhi tinta player beshi khelbe, aaram tomar bhi tinta player kam khelbe. That's the only difference. But it doesn't really make a lot of. It's not going to make a lot of difference. Hey, I can tell you that James and Mota at game make a shot at four point mile. That's a whole different thing. We can't predict that. We can't predict that. But the fixtures don't look like that. That's another thing that we can say. Fixtures don't look like that. So yeah, more or less the points are going to be quite average. Because I can do the high scoring game. Why you still have those players who are probably likely to go and score high, right? You still have those players, even if it's a low-scoring game, you'll still have those players who are probably going to score low. So you are more or less covered. I would, I would rather save the free hit. I have a similar team like yours. I don't see. I'm not playing the free hit anyway. But again, the call is yours, right? Saif Al Muzayid Bay says, will it be wise decision to play free hit on game week 30, then 33? What do you think, Saif? 
as both of you have said, I would also advocate not play, not to play free hit on game week 30 because we are expecting a low scoring game week, and I would more much like I would like to keep my faith to attack the double game weeks because double game weeks are a pretty high scoring game week. So if you can nail your picks on a double game week, you can jump quite a big uh, ahead of the other players. So if you can have eight or nine players uh, without a hit or even with a hit. I would save my free hit for game uh, game three or a later double game. Right. So I'll move it by. I'll give you a. I'll give you a very simple concept, and you should understand as to which one is better, free hit thirty or free hit thirty three. Now let's assume that this is your free hit chip. Okay. Let's just assume this is your free hit chip. Your team is coming like this, and there is a car like this. Got to. Okay, sir. And you put the free hit chip like this, and you cross over. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Now, if if there is a bump like this, yeah, and you're free, you are using your free hit chip. So, what are you going to do like this? So, this is how the game week 30 look, 33 looks like, and this is how game week 30 looks like. Now, you decide by which one is better. You want to use it as a bridge, or you want to use it as a lever. The decision is yours. Yeah, that's the simplest of explanation that I can give you when it comes to free hit game week 30 or 33. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure um, viewers, viewers. I hope I hope you enjoyed the classical dance of of Nadim by just now. He's really trained in that sense. Thanks, Ashfaq. Thanks, Ashfaq. You noticed? My God, you noticed? I was doing classical dance. That was Bharat Natyam, by the way. Thanks, Ashfaq. I'm I'm honored. I'm flattered. Multi multi talented, Ashfaq. After talented, shesh nahi. Straight right, thanks, Ashwat. Straight from Shanti Niketan into FPL. Shalav Dwyer is asking Ashwat after your comment. Even amidst the injury of Huber and Semedo, Ethnuri didn't start the match. Will he be a starter again anytime soon? Shalav Dwyer, thank you for your question. What we have seen recently is that Marcel and Ayatel Nuri has been uh, rotating the left back position. I still think Ayatel Nuri. Should play a bit, uh, a bit more matches, but I don't think he's nailed on anymore. Uh, if you have Ayatul Nori, he has a good chance of starting the next match. But then again, there's no guarantee he will. Uh, the good thing is that um, Johnny Castro had a red card, I think. So with Johnny Castro's red card, I think uh, with the current situation, Marcel might move to the right back position, and uh, Ayatul Nori might play. So there's a good, very good chance that Ayatul Nori should play the game with 30, but. In the long run, I'm not so sure because what you've seen recently is that Marcel and Alton Nori has been sharing the left back position. He's not right. Alton Nori. Okay. Alton. Okay. So, Abdul Alim, bhai, good to see you, brother. And thank you so much for joining. Um, thank you also for the question, of course. Um, Saif, Abdul Alim bhai says, double game maker trap is a PC. Big team is single game maker. Player their performance is just to bhalo mona hoche. So that's a comment actually, not a question. Sorry. Um, what's your opinion on that? Because I have an opinion about it, but I just wanted to ask your opinion about it. Saif, what do you think? Amar kotha hoche double game weeks are always fun. Why, why uh, settle for one match when you can just pick a player who have two? So. I would definitely always play and pick double gimmick players ahead of single gimmick players in a, any given game week. So, because the excitement is there, you know. Even though I had right. Willock who has failed terribly, the, you have uh, you have been advoc advocating Saka. Despite having him in the last game week, he only had a single game week, but he has outscored Willock by quite a bit. But if I went back, I would do, do that again because I would always like to have the lottery, play the lottery. Right. So here, here is what I have to say about this double gimmick and this comment particular, and your advocacy about picking double gimmick players more than single gimmick players are safe. But also on your point about Rafinha, if it is initial more that a meal asa, asha asha din je galo, asha puron holo na. Okay sir. That's exactly what it is. Put the gimmick like Rafinha as a double digit dibe, and that didn't happen. Even our other age most appeal thing, by the way. The most appeal thing that I'm not quoting here is even over there, I don't comment. Just say, 
এই গেমি কে রাফিনে ডাবল ডিজিট পয়েন্ট দিবে ঠিক আছে ইয়া হি ডিড ইয়া গুড লাক উইথ দ্যাট বাই দ্য ওয়ে দিস গেমি নোবডি গট ইট রাইট ওনলি জাহাঙ্গি গট ইট রাইট ওনলি জাহাঙ্গি গট ইট রাইট ফ্রম এপিএল বিডি এন্ড হি সেড রোনাল্ডো ইজ গোইং টু স্কোর এন্ড হি ওয়াজ ব্যাং অন রোনাল্ডো ডিড স্কোর এ হ্যাট্রিক দ্যাট ইজ দি ওনলি करेक्ट आंसर উই গট রেস্ট ওয়ার অল রং রেস্ট ওয়ার অল রং so that's why we are not going to make any other shouts about the most appeal thing but yeah but that's the thing i mean i'm with rafina this is what happens prottek game ke amra bole ei game ke dibe ei game ke dibe na tar pore jokhon dai na tokhon he is a fraud eta ekta fraud thik ache eta ekta bakwas ha eta re hudai team e rakhe eta latti diye ber kore dibo thik ache and then the moment you see the fixture is like oh ei game ke to rafina abosshoi dibe thik ache এই গেম কি করে ডাবল ডিজিট দিবে হি জাস্ট গেভ ওয়ান ডাবল ডিজিট ইন হিজ এন্টায়ার পিএল ক্যারিয়ার ওয়ান ডাবল ডিজিট দ্যাটস ইট এনিওয়ে বাগ একদিন আসবে বাগ একদিন আসবে রাইট আই উইশ देयर वाज अ সং अबाउट ইট ইউ নো দ্য রাইজ অফ দ্য টাইগার লেটস সে ফ্রম ক্যাটিপেরি ইয়া দ্য রাইজ অফ দ্য টাইগার ইয়া আই থিং দ্যাট ইজ দ্য সং মোর অ্যাপ্রোপ্রিয়েট ইয়া ওকে আব্দুল মুনিম নিয়াল थैंक यू सो मच right now thank you so much for the question ba uh, assalam alaikum guys how are you guys this will be a good team but in my opinion it's not a good week to use free hit chip yeah we agree we agree it's not a very good team time to actually play the free hit team i mean that's what we are trying to advocate now onek team hoyto ba erkom nao thakte pare je tader free hit khelte hobe feel free amra already dekha disi je what is free hit when you use it in a blank game and what is free hit when you use it in a double game so there you go um munim says shatesh watching and 15 reactions yeah now it has gone up um the number of viewers have gone down to 21 now and i see 31 reactions so it has gone up munim it has gone up yeah so al mujahid bhai then says arsenal liverpool tottenham mu mc lister all have a double game week on 33 ashfaq what do you think about that yeah so double game week 33 has been announced definitely but i think they still have a dependency on the um, fa cup quarter final results so although they have been announced so uh, they are not one yeah they have been announced but i don't think they're 100% confirmed regarding the game week 33 they have been confirmed no no what i can see that they it has an announcement that is subject to fa cup quarter final results that is what i'm seeing from the fpl scouts সো Uh, we will have an answer by game week 32 i think yeah but i think that is still far away but anyway i hope um, i i have been seen the latest news so i cannot comment on it but yeah if it is yeah. confirmed or not you will get the news and please do follow on our page parvez yeah. will definitely provide an uh, immediate fixture yeah. update about it so yeah tell in tweet brighton burnley leicester menu and newcastle are confirmed and very likely are arsenal southampton and unlikely but possible or chelsea liverpool or man city so this is the status now right okay likely so there you go um we aston villa leeds and wolves are more likely to blank in 33 so. yeah it's supposed to be a blank double game week by the way it's supposed to be a blank double game week but teams gula bhalo thakar jar karone we are saying this is a lever by the way so yeah you use a free hit here off you go that's it right ridwan khandakar is asking um saif look at this <laughs> right ridwan khandakar bhai thank you so much uh, for the question um we are not laughing at your question but we are laughing at the size of your question because this kind of big size questions always falls to saif and he has to answer so there you go saif big questions it's always saif uh, bin rashid i have eight players playing this game make have one free hit uh, uh, sorry free transfer all my midfielders are playing except sala so not changing here non playing defenders are ta cancel and rudy non playing forwards are regost and dennis where can i make the free hit 0.0 million in the bank
I would not transfer out Sala. You have already said that you would not too. And also, I would not transfer out any of TA, Cancel, and Rudy. Because they have good fixtures coming out. They are season keepers, in my opinion. So, only options I can see is to transfer out Weighorst and Dennis. Weighorst has a, has a double game week, 31. So, and what I was, and what I was going to say that you cannot go for two playing forwards anyway because you don't have any money in the bank. So I would say only option is for you to transfer out Dennis. But I think you would get 5.8 to 5.9 if you transfer out Dennis. So I don't think there is any options in that sector. So if I was in your position, I would roll my FT because I would just go with the 8 I have. Because you don't have any money in the bank, so you cannot upgrade Dennis to like Tony or Jimenez. So, and Oigors, if you transfer him out, you would need you would want him back in, in the next game week because he has double game week. So I would just go for the eight I have. Okay. Okay, I was just trying to fiddle around with my transfer team right now to try and see because. You said um, you're not going to transfer out Salah, but I was thinking of one week punt of Salah and Kane. Like Salah bear kore akta kono akta cheap and then Broja ba kono kauke bear kore Kane comes in. But then I'm looking at my team and I'm seeing 31 I'm already minus 4 booked. So again, minus 4 and minus 4 again, that is minus 12, which I don't want to do. Yeah, so yeah, that's not a bad plan. But somebody kills you the kote wale, then it's very good for them. Yeah, right. So Sayyid Naid Bhai comes back with a pair. ভাইকে um side night by says assalamu alaikum everyone uh, wa alaikum assalam brother good to see you and thanks for joining of course and then hamim nur comes back with another question a week tai hit now what ki logical nilo koto expecting all of you to answer okay i will ask i will t- give my first answer i am taking a hit of minus 4 not more than that or i will not take anything so either it's minus 4 or nothing at all saving a transfer je kono ekta and if you are really taking a hit, go for minus four only, not more than that. Karan Erbishi actually gain kora ta kothi nahi jabe. Matlab chhatta fixture. What do you think about it, Saif? What's your answer? I have already taken minus four this game week because I only hit seven, so I am now up to nine. So I am pondering whether to take another or not. I would. I I don't think I would. So I think minus four can be taken if you are if you can get to ten to eleven. But it's all team team dependent. If you can cover the eight or nine highly owned players, I, I don't think you need a hit. Saif, you cannot play so aggressively, bro. You cannot play so aggressively. Just because I'm behind you now, trying to chase you and trying to catch you up, you can't play so aggressive. Like you are like bhag, bhag, bhai, I always like hits, man. I know. I know. I mean, I'm also. I, I also love hits. But Talman is not by minus 8 on a game week 30. Come on. It's like I understand I'm right behind you. And I want to catch you up and I want to overtake you. So that I can say in the pod I'm on top of you as well. You are not likely to overtake me in this game. Right? So, yes. But then you are going for you are going for minus 8. Like why? You are going for minus 8. Okay. You are going for minus 8. You are going for minus 8. You are going for minus 8. Okay. Anyway. Ashfaq, what's your answer? You probably say don't take hits at all. Uh, You're conservative uh, when it comes uh, to this. Based on the previous question which I answered for you, my understanding is that you already have seven players if Wang does not play. Um, if you take give one transfer, that is eight players. So I think eight players is good enough for this game week without taking any hits. If you can play eight players without taking any hits, I would say take play eight players. Okay, okay, right, okay. Um, then comes side night by question, and there you go. <laughs> okay, this time it's Ashfaq's turn. 
No, 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 Brown Hill out kolle bank ke 6.4 million hoy. Barnes Madison ke neva jaite se na tai minus hit niye Libra to Amarti nite hotche. Libra to Marshall ko neva jai jodi Marshall start kore ta hole. Any suggestions akhon ki kora jai? So yeah, it's a bit of a tricky situation for him. Yeah, so side night by I mean I'll answer your question step by step. First of all, um, regarding Marshall, I'm not sure if he's a sure starter or not, but Given um, Johnny Castro's red card and Semedo and Hover being injured, very, very good chance that Marcel starts at right back. So if Marcel starts at right back, then Marcel is an option. But then again, there's no guarantee that Marcel starts the next game week because what you've seen recently is that Marcel and Ayatol Nuri is basically um, sharing the uh, left back role here. Regarding uh, game week 30, if you are playing, if you have eight players playing, I don't see a necessity to uh, take minus hits because what our analysis says that game week uh, 30 will be a low scoring game week as well. So like other uh, investments, uh, I don't think there's a big upturn on, you know, taking minus hits. If you have eight players without taking minus hits, I think it's good enough. Um... Brownhill to Barnes, Maddy, Barnes to Madin, Alachina, Livra, MRT. Yeah, so if you have eight players um, without taking any minuses, definitely go for it. But it's very important that you have Arsenal and Spurs representation in your team uh, because one of them should definitely be your captaincy contenders. Okay, um, my internet is fluctuating again. I can see my face frozen and then my internet says unstable. So I just switch off the screen again. Bandwidth to come up. 29 people watching, 33 likes and appreciation. Thank you so much, guys. Come on, if you have not pressed the button, press it. It's free of cost. Fine. Anyway, um, no, no, just kidding, guys. Come on, press the like button if you want to, and if you think we are answering your questions appropriately, please. Um, okay, next question, Saif. And here you go. It's a big one again. Even if you can escape one, the next one comes to you anyway. Vijan yeah, Khandukar uh, says, I have eight players playing this game. I think, I think, I think it's the same question. Already, yeah, it's the same question. I think Saif already answered this question, it. right. Just yeah, yeah, it's a repetition. It's a repetition, yeah. It's a reputation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Tamil has said, Shakil, bhai, good to see you, brother. Good to see you, and thank you so much for joining, and thank you for staying so late awake, and then still watching our show and still commenting. We really appreciate all the support that is coming. This is great for us. We really love it. Shardin and Klam Tutal Pado, you know, we 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 are still motivated by the fact that people do come and watch our show. So thank you so much. Um, Saif, this comes to you. Boy, to whom? Ethnori say, okay, ki korbo. Boyan has a chance to feature in their Europa League, uh, Europa League game. They have a game in the midweek, so let's wait for, wait and see if he's fit. If he plays some part in the Europa League game, I think he might have a chance of featuring in game week 30. So I would not transfer him out just now. And Aitnori also, I think he might, uh, he has a good chance of playing in this game week. So I don't think there is any need to transfer him out now. Play with him in this game week, then look to transfer him out in the coming game weeks for a double game player or an, another player. So I would just hold both of them as of now and let's see. Uh, in case of Bowen, let's see if he's fit and in case of Whitenory, just play him in this game week. He might, I think he will play this game week because he was rotated in the last match. I think he will come back in. Right. Thanks, Saif. Thanks. So I just saw. From 33 uh, likes to it went down to 39 likes. So, guys, you all are listening. You all are pressing the buttons. Why don't you type two few words on our review section and also say some good words about it or bad words about us? Yeah, we would appreciate that too. So, please do support us, guys. Come on. Your review counts. It helps us to grow. Come on. 
we are not going to change. We will be here. Yeah, next year, next season, we'll be here. Yeah, next season we have bigger plans. So please do support us to reach more people. Oh, by the way, I have a good news. And 27 people are watching right now, and I want to share this good news with everyone. Is that I want to thank all the 1,800 people who have liked our page. Today we reached 1,800 people likes or 1,800 likes today. So thank you to everyone. There are should like the Arkona Din Peji Ashen Nai. Thank you to them. But also thank you to all of you. There are regularly Ashen, comment Koren, interact Koren, Peji comment Koren, messages Koren. We really love it. We are never irritated or bored by it. Atuba Maja Maja to response Kote Deri Oja because we are professionals anyway. Aro on a Kats Thake. Sorry for that. But we really, really appreciate all the love and affection that you guys share. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ashfaq, so it's your turn. Just, just to add to that, Arki, uh, the 1800 likes, Arki, actually, good looking host, the likes, imitate to Bare. So that's another plus one for Ghana football. You think I'm a good host? I don't know. No, I said you were a good looking host. A good looking host? Oh my God. Okay. This is going in a different direction again. Now, Nahin will come up with that Amir Khan comments again. I don't want that. No, no. Thanks, Nahin. Before you share, Baya. Thank you. Uh, he doesn't want to become Amir Khan. Yeah. I mean, people are calling me what not. Ashfaq says, George Clooney, somebody else. Oh, no. Uh, it was Galib Bhai from, Galib Bhai from Top Corner says. It wasn't me. So, this is the names I got. Huh? This is the names I got. Galib Bhai from Top Corner said, I look like George Clooney. Then one of our viewers said, I look like George Clooney. Uh, my voice is like Amresh Puri. And then I smile like I don't know whom, Paresh Rawal or something. There was a comparison like that. And then today, Hamim No 9 says Amir Khan. Well, I don't know what else will come. But anyway, Ashfaq, Tanvinati Bhai, good to see you, brother. Thank you so much for interacting all the time. Bhai, Apna comment, Dekhi Amra. We really like it. Thank you so much. And after playing wildcard last game week, was over the moon seeing Son, Kane, Saka, Doherty go up. Then game week started and things started going bad. Kicked Cancelo KDB and due to the budget uh, concerns, had to shift Cody out for Ryan N. So that's Ryan at Nuri. And Thiago Silva didn't play. Cash benched. One subbed. Terrible. Okay, so this is a comment. This and a comment. he's just expressing his frustration. I'm not sure. Oh, Cash benched. Oh, oh, he benched Cash. Okay. Cash was mm. benched. Cash wasn't benched, yeah. cash played, right? Cash played, cash played. He benched cash. He benched okay. cash, that's what he's saying. Cash. So, okay, okay. yeah. So, look at by. Sometimes it happens, why? Sometimes it happens. You know, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you so many stories. You, you probably heard it. I had Mane once upon a time. I had Rashford once upon a time. I had even Gordon for his 19 points or 14 points that he gave. And he was on my bench. Okay, sir. I didn't get, I got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He got 9. You see, this kind of thing happened by. This is this is what FPL is. This is what makes the fun. So don't be disheartened by. It'll be, you'll be back again. Don't worry. Right. So, Muhammad Ali Kazmi, good to see you, brother. Thank you so much for coming back again. And it's great to see you back. Hello, why uh, thinking of replacing Salah and Adams to bring Kane and Barnes, then son to Salah in Game 31? Opinions? Ashfaq, it's you. Um, Muhammad Ali, Kazmi Bhai, um, I'm personally not a big fan of one-week punts. One-week punts usually does not do well well in my team. Um, I'll give you the pros and cons of your, of your move. The pros and cons will be that in theory, this is a good move. Um, Salah and Adams, Kane and Burns. Uh, then moving from Son to Salah. In theory, I think this is a good move. But there's a good chance by in game week 31, you will have other priorities in your team. Other priorities being that, uh, suppose the game week 31, double game week has already been announced. So your other priorities might be to bring in Burnley and Everton assets all of a sudden. Then that would mean extra minus hits for you. So... Um, 
if you already have representation from Burnley and Everton, then maybe yes, it's the thing you could go for. Otherwise, you should actually make the calculation on, on your own. And suppose you have another injury coming in in game week 30, then you will have other priorities to replace your injured injured players as well. So one week punts, personally for me, does not do well for me because because of one week punts, suddenly I have other priorities in my team. But if you think that you uh, will have adequate uh, representation or a very good team for game week 31, definitely go for it. Well, I'll, 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 very, good, very good move, I think. You will yeah, I agree. I agree with Saif. I agree with Saif. Ali Kazmi, bhai, I don't know what sort of a manager you are, but looking at this move, I can understand you are a risk taker. You go for the upsides. You, you like to position yourself in a situation where you can, you know, like, lagle chokka na lagle out. Doesn't matter. But we chokkar might bat na swing kolle tothon kono ball lagbe na, thikase. So you are trying to play that. If you are that kind of a manager, go for it because this is exactly what I was trying to fiddle with my mobile. I mean, kore fell silam. I saw minus eight ni tohabe amake game week thirty one and I was very happy. I was like about to say it in here, only to realize that I have four sparse player and there was on top rod. Let's uh, say you have enough sparse player, so I'm I'm not able to do it now. Yeah, but I think this is a very good move. I think this is an excellent move. I, if I was in this place, I would have already done this. I was really thinking about it. So, yeah, if you want to do it, bye, go ahead. But go with your gut. That's the main thing. Uh, Ashfaq is a bit of a, more of a, like a safety kind of a guy. He goes slow, he'll study, he'll move. Then he'll try, try to take the calculations and then do it. Yeah, that's Ashfaq. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I'm more like kind of an aggressive guy, Saif also. So, yeah, we play it like that. So if you play like that, go ahead, Saif brother. Is, I, I don't Saif, see anything wrong with it. Saif is balanced. Saif is very balanced. Yeah, Saif is balanced. Saif is balanced. But Saif, Saif also sometimes balanced. takes risk and risk sometimes he neutralizes it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. He, he has more calculations behind it than I do, actually. Yeah. Anyway, Sheikh Shuman Bhai is asking. Um, Divrap ka brother Cody Ramsey niye BB khelsi gimmick 29 So that's a comment again. Uh, from uh, Sheikh Suman Bhai. I hope your BB is going good so far. Brother got one, Cody got six, Ramsey got a goal. Oh, yes. So far, it's going good. So so far, it's okay. I hope by Atharo Park, Atharo Park, you pass mark by Agassan Arki, then you boost again. So it will be fine. Yeah. Right. So Parvez says, guess it. I don't know what uh, what went. Anyway, internet guess guess Allah Malik internet guess guess right? Internet. Okay, then he follows up with another comment says Nadimir internet guess, right? Thanks, Parvis. Internet is back again, and I'm talking live, and you can hear me. Hi, Parvis. We will discuss about potential Salah replacement with Kane and Son and others. Yeah, we'll talk about it anyway. So, Ali Kazmi by then comes back, uh, Saif, um, with another question. No, this is this is the same question. Sorry. He has added a move. He's added a move over here. Yep. Then in game week 31, Son to Jimenez to Salah and Vegos with a minus four opinions. Saif, what do you think? I think uh, if you can afford him, uh, uh, Richardson can be a good option. Better 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 pick than Vegos because Everton's pictures are a bit better, I think. So. I would prefer Richardson over Weghorst and he also has penalties in his locker. So if you can afford him, I would go for Richardson over Weghorst. And but anyway, I think it's a very good move all all around. Right. Okay. Then Sheikh Shuman Bhai says, Ashfaq, um Gimmick 30 the nine to player playing, nine players playing, Salah to Madison Barnes and Gimmick 31 and Rafina to Salah FT. What do you think? Ashfaq? Wilson. Sheikh Sohan Bhai, thank you for your question. Um, like I said before, that uh, game week 31, after, uh, you already have the double game weeks coming up for only. So, if you already have Everton and Burnley representation in your team, definitely go with this combination. Uh, if you don't, then basically what I would suggest is 
keep in mind that what kind of team you are going to have in game week 31 and see if you know get that uh, game week 31 team without taking i don't know minus 8 or minus 12 hits but otherwise otherwise go for it Ashfaq, i just want to say something here not related to this comment but when i was bringing this comment i don't know how many audience saw it but what Saif and I saw was you in a position like this, see? And then you got stuck over there. So basically you're yawning, I think, and you got stuck, your screen got frozen. So basically for 12 seconds, we got to see you like this. And that's it. And we were like, ah, oh, Ashfaq, are you there? Ashfaq, yeah, yeah, Ashfaq is here. Okay. So that's why uh, Saif and myself. After screenshot, Rakan, I tried. I tried. I was really focused on trying to get you on board first, only to realize I should have taken a screenshot. That's why I'm kind of doing the mimicry, you know, here. You see my expression as well. So that's it. Anyway, so Anirban, uh, Arabindra Paul, Turjobhai, good to see you, brother. Thank you so much for uh, joining. Uh, Banza Madison, Saif. I think both. Ashraf bhai, uh, Ashraf bhai and I have different op op opinions over this. We have already covered that. I, I prefer Barnes because of his goal threat and I think he would be in the team much more than Madison because Madison has been suffering from niggling injuries. So I, I would not trust Madison's fitness as a player but Barnes have been fit for a while. So I think he will keep on playing and he is a live wire when he plays. I think I, I prefer Barnes over Madison. Ashford, right. Ashford by now say medicine over Barnes. So it's just your choice, I think. Both are good picks in this game week and for the over, uh, coming game weeks. So just who you right. prefer. Okay. Um, so all this time I was thinking somebody is going to ask about captaincy. Nobody asked about captaincy. And I don't you know when people are going to ask about captaincy. So know. what we are going to do is we are going to quickly show the captaincy slides. Yeah, and we're going to quickly discuss that and then go back to the questions again. We'll answer those questions. But first, let's go quickly to the slides of uh, captaincy. So, guys, let's do it quick because uh, already Akhtabasta so Manush at the one So, let's just quickly do it. So, these are the three captains' options that we are looking into. At least, I'm the captain suggestion. So, Saif, what do you think about the captain's opponent's defensive stats? Over to you, Saif. Nadim Bajara Bultusala Captain Sinet, I want to take a question. There are two obvious choices, I think, in this game. Those who have Kane, they will Captain Kane. Those who have Son, they will Captain Son. Only dilemma is for people who have both Kane and Son, who to captain. So we have picked Kane and Son and Saka, added Saka, but I think Saka has been just added for the sake of it. I don't think Saka will be a good captain option over any of Kane and Son. But and as you, as you can see, that in the last say, last six matches, if you consider the opponents, if, even if you don't consider the players, just consider the opponents, Kane and Son has the better fixture because over the last six matches, uh, West Ham has been in worse defensive shape than Everton, uh, sorry, Aston Villa in almost every aspect. Almost all the aspects we have picked here, West Ham is performing worse than Aston Villa over the last six matches. And I think um, Gerard the system of Aston Villa because of their middling form and now they have been playing really well. The defense have picked up. So, in the interestingly, in the last game week, both these teams faced, faced each other. West Ham and Aston Villa played, played each other. So, both both uh, lost, lost their clean sheets and Aston Villa considered twice and West Ham considered once. So, both of them are in i think aston villa kept uh, back to back clean sheets before that so i think their fixtures are a bit uh, their form has been a bit better so opponent wise i think west ham is a good fixture to target and also it's a london derby derbies are always fiery and always full of goals so we expect goals in the derby and so if you go, for, go with the opponents here and also the opponent's form i think kane or son is a good pick and kane or son is the preferred option over saka Oh, sorry, I was muted. I was muted. Sorry, sorry. Anything else to add more or should I move to the next slide? I think you can move to the next slide. Okay. So over to you, Ashfaq, just to clearly highlight between Son and Kane as to who, what should people do if they have both options. 
I think that's the main focus. Right. Uh, I don't think there's many managers who has uh, Kane and Son both until unless you are playing the free hit. Um, I because of the based on the stats, you can clearly see that Kane has an XG of 4.29. I think is one of the highest in. I think is the highest over the last six game weeks. So which is why I think Kane should be the obvious choice and. His expected assist is pretty healthy as well with 1.64. So that goes to show that how much of a explosive asset he can be. If you are playing a free hit or if you're bringing in Son, uh, if you bring in Kane, I think between Kane and Son, I think Kane should be the outstanding choice for captaincy. Son is a good pick as well. If you do not have Kane, I think Son is a decent pick. Expected goals is 2.06. Expected assist is pretty healthy. Is is one of the highest with 1.71. He has had. Uh, five goal involvements in the last six games, which is pretty healthy as well. So if you don't own Kane, definitely Son should be the next choice. Now, if you're really going for a differential pick, uh, Saka is a good pick, primarily because if you look at his minutes per attempt, minutes per attempt for Saka is even uh, higher than Kane. So even though Kane would be the outstanding choice, Saka could be... Uh, Decent pun because of his high involvement in penalty area touches and high involvement, uh, which is higher than Kane. He's 23.7 to Kane's 26.3. So, then again, the standard choices should be Kane and Son, but differential, if you do want to go for it, go for Saka. Right. Thanks. I think that finishes our content part. So, we don't have any more content, audience. Now, let's go back to the questions again. And then question comes to you, Ashfaq, because the last question was answered by Saif. I remember my cue this time. Um, <laughs> uh, just that mess I made last week. Uh, I have no Arsenal defense. A oh, question from Imran Saif. Good to see you, brother, again. Thanks so much. Uh, I have no Arsenal defense. Or, or a CS delay, I'm a rank down, kore, which is Shababik. Um, extra money, the other fullback now, a real logic, Kuja Patsina. Since Ura Kichui Corona, Tai Yarki, White Nawar Chintavabna. What do you think about it? Mm, well, the, this, the thing is about point potential, right? Where fullback is to Corona, that's partially true. I think Tierney owners has been a bit frustrated of late. But I still think Tierney has a higher point potential over White. I don't think White is a very good goal threat as well. Uh, he's good for the price, 4.5 or 4.6. I think he's good for the price. But regarding point potential, I don't think he has a very good upside. If you're thinking long term, I say I'd say you should go with a fullback over a center back. But for the short run or for the game with 30, maybe maybe white white could be good. Right. Okay. So for short term it's white. For long term it's Tierney. Is that what you're suggesting? That is what I'm saying. Yes. Okay. Right. Saif, big question follows you everywhere you go. Tanvi Latif Bhai is back uh, with another question. And here is the question. Ramsdale, Cash, Etnuri, Doherty, Son, Saka, Martinelli, Cotino, Kane, Wang, Dubravka, Salah, TA, Silva, that is Thiago Silva, Broja, Bench, No Gimmick, uh, 30. Should I replace anyone or save FP to go with 10 men? Dajjun Asif. I don't think there is any need to replace anyone because I yeah. think at least nine of your team will play. One might might or might not play, but I think you can go ahead with the nine players you have because you have Kane and Son, which most of non-free hitters don't have. So you have that advantage there. And you have also an Arsenal defensive dou uh, midfield develop. So I think that's also a good move. Saka and Martinelli, both are good options. So you have Dohart, you have Cash. I don't think... You can bring in anyone to improve your team in the long term, long, long, long run. So I would, I would go for saving the free hit, the free time. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's a very good team, by Bombaraka team, I would say. Yes. Right. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Tanvi Loti, by Inshallah, this happen. I see. Kane and Son, me, me, a shop, two guys in team. Kane, Son, Salah, Tia, shop us. And you Ashfaq, you call me Borlok manager Look at people, they have everything. I mean good manage by anyway. Mamad Apple Mahmud Bai says um Gemi Tirisha Matu Tin Chadjuna say Shekatri free Kalaki Chikobe. Ashfaq, what do you think? Uh 
Muhammad Apal Mahmudbhai, thank you for your question. I think so. Uh, I would have suggested that seven to eight players, then no. But three or four, I think that you might have to. You don't have any other choices. So regarding the free hit team, please refer to our slide and our discussion <laughs> if you need suggestions for the free hit team. Right. Right. Thanks. Apal Mahmudbhai, thank you so much for the question. Teen Chajur, I am going to ask you a Mile cabin rank drop could be up now on it. So play the free hit, but I love it. Love me, um, I mean, the nine says, um, low scoring week, hello, they've been world century, which is true. I am, I mean, this is what I have to disagree. Uh, I have to disagree in one point. I'm not sure my cotta bully, and I mean, I'm other Niger cotta take me disagree. Coach, I'm not sure my bully is 30 game week, it'll be a low scoring game week. We don't know for sure. We don't know for sure. It can not. I'm not low scoring with it. Actually, ultimately, gain the low hobby. That's what we are trying to say. Not the yeah, game week point. Actually, come hobby. Okay, sir. I'm a money. I'm a genius. Actually, to clarify, Kora Uchi, Karnoniki, Monaco, Baja by Herakosi, low scoring agent or team Kunumoto Shatta Tanisi. They game a game week of Kenton, hat trick, trick, Korea Kakarabosta. Okay, sir. And then everybody got 100. Okay, sir. Which shot. Chatata player do that hundred pile, then they'll be like Apnata coincident by low scoring game mix. No, that's what what not we meant. That's not what we mean. Yeah. What we mean is basically KB the hundred pie, no Dosta player by Garota player there, you might probably get eighty. Because you will have the same seven or eight players that he will have. So he gain Korata actually is a bit different. Gain Tabeshi Hobenalki. Lapta com. That's what we are trying to say. Yeah, lapta com. Yeah, Nahin, I hope that clarifies to everyone who's watching right now. So, Barbara, I'm actually both this, and that's what I wanted to disagree on that. Right. Um. Oh God. Tasmin. No, no. Tasmin, comment question. Ashfaq left. You know, this is a point. Tasmin. Tasmin, this is exactly why Ashfaq left. He saw the comment and he was like, Thakum na bhai, I'll, I'll just leave. You can go on. Yeah. I guess it's hard when someone does Bharat Natyam on top of you, Ashfaq. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Tasmim is very good friend of Ashfaq, by the way, if you don't know people. Um, so yeah, there you go. So Tasmim said, oh, he's back. Ashfaq, I haven't finished. Look who's commenting. Right. You know the coincidence of it all? I brought this question and you just evaporated from the screen. Not by my choice. Mane or or question the toxic chilo. Actually toxic chilo. My in my phone ran out of charge. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, Ashfaq. Thank God you didn't say it was my conspiracy again. But anyway, um for example, Demon by good to see you, brother. Apna stats guru um aske nice. Sorry, bhai. So unfortunately we we'll, you'll have to deal with us. Stat Guru is probably watching just like you are watching right now, right? Madison versus Tillemans versus Barnes. What do you think? Ashfaq. Um, for example, Dimon Bhai, um, we had a couple of this questions, the same question. Tillemans, uh, uh, we really would not recommend. The more argument is between Madison versus Barnes. Saib Bhai prefers Barnes because of his attacking threat. I prefer Madison because of his goal involvement. I believe Madison has the higher point potential because he's on set pieces corners, and I think he's very central to um, Leicester City's attacks now that you know Vardy is again injured and they have a bit of a scoring crisis. I think Madison is the way to go, but uh, side by thinks that Madison has a niggling injury, so he's not on his best form. Rather, invest in Barnes, who is a bit of a more goal threat. So, choice is up to you. That's both of our arguments. Right. Okay. Saif, Anupam Devnath Bhai is back and he is asking a question. Anupam Devnath Bhai, good to see you again. And thank you so much, Bhai, for joining and so late at night. Good to Tony. I would do it to Tony. You do it? I would do it. Right. I think it's a good one. I'm rather surprised he has wood in the first place. Who? Back to back double game weeks. We have we lost. Still, he, he did not. Score yeah. Fuck. 
As far let let me let me not open my mouth. I'm I'm surprised you have Willock as far. And we I'm surprised you have Willock. Wood did not score. Willock scored. Willock was on a scoring run. No, Wood scored. Wood scored in the last game week. Wood actually yeah. scored when it mattered. Yeah, Atash game week he scored. Yeah. Yeah. Header. Yeah. I'm on the double. Yeah, zonal weakness was also saying he's going to score, and he scored. I think he will score against Everton again. Yeah. So good to Tony. Yeah, my date, date, and if you are surprised that Ashfaq said, you know, I'm surprised that you have uh, you have Wood on Kam Devnath Bhai. Let me tell you, I am very much surprised that Ashfaq on the party thing that Willock nae. Okay, sir. I am very surprised, and I told him not to go with Willock. Why is the anyway. finger pointed at, pointed at me? You have another another Willock owner here as well. Yeah, okay. Ignore him. You know, sometimes he makes a mistake. Why, you know, why is the finger pointed at me? It's a judgment of error. Discrepancy. It's take a lot discrepancy. You think it's to take a take? It's a judgmental error. Come on, man. It happens to the best of people. Willock owner, why are you doing that? Finger is pointed at pointed at me. It take a lot discrimination. Actually, actually, it's to take a take. Well, I'll do. I'll tell you. Okay, now you want an answer, Ashfaq? I'll give it an answer. Firstly, I'll 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 give benefit of doubt to uh, Saif for that because it's his judgmental error. That's one. Second thing is you're the one who is actually questioning somebody owning wood, despite yes. being a willow owner. He didn't question. You questioned, so yes. that's what I'm saying. Wood did not score so before because wood did not score before. Double game week, cheap striker. Zonal weakness. Both the same. We even made a shout about Wood in our zonal weakness. Come on, the stats were saying he would score. So that's that. So I don't think it was a bad pick. My, my point was not many people took took Wood. So that is why. Yeah, I was he, he was a differential. He was a differential, of course. Yeah. So he went. Anupam Devnath Bhai went with Wood. I think that's fine. Yeah, but but this is a good move. This is a good move. Yeah. So Tanvir Latif Bhai has the kind uh, information of sharing big things. Question of Kareer Kum. But I can't remember this information. I share with you. So, boro boro. Okay, sir. So, double game week has been confirmed. The Premier League have announced the scheduling of previously postponed fixtures, creating double game week for several teams. So, one team game week, two other teams are joining. Who is Burnley? They are playing with Manchester City and Everton. Is that and Everton with West Ham and Burnley? Which I am already know. I am already told. See already. But double game week, thirty-three fixture is also confirmed now. Manchester United will play. Will have a double game week. Will play Norwich and Liverpool. Leicester will play. Has a double game week. Will play in Newcastle and Everton. Wow, Lister fixture looks sexy. Mm. Newcastle will play double game week. He has um, Lister and Crystal Palace. That also looks sexy. Uh, Brighton has Spurs and Man City. Um, I'm not interested. Yeah, but I'm not going to go with Brighton. I don't think they are sexy, to be honest. At least not Neil Mope, to be honest. Um, Burnley has a double game week fixture again. West Ham and Southampton, and then Arsenal has Southampton and Chelsea. Wow. Okay, that's it. Very good. Right. Thanks, Anupam. Uh, Tanvir Latif, bhai. Thank you, Sam, so much for sharing that. Um, so, add, Muhammad Anwar, Anwar Yusuf, bhai. Bhai, just to add, the fixtures are not confirmed. All 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 the fixtures are not confirmed. That is what okay. I'm trying to say. It has a dependency on FA, FA Cup quarterfinal results. All right. Okay. So I have to check that information again. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, whatever it is, there is still time. We'll share that information and we'll get it as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. So Mohammad Anar Yusuf, bye. Good to see you, brother. And thank you so much for joining. Um, Adam to Tony or Willock to Cotino. Who was it? Who was the last question to? No, last question was Saif. Over to you. Last question was mine. Put to Tony. Anyway, uh, I would do Willock to Cotino because I think Adam has good fixtures to come, and he has been performing well. He had an assist in the last game with two, so I would do Willock to Cotino because Cotino I think is the better pick in the long run. Okay, Ashfaq, this is an appropriate question for you one. Um, we are an FPL show, but again, it's a very good question. Comes from Talha Nadim Shaun Bai. What's your prediction on tonight's Man United versus Atletico Madrid? Ashfaq, you being the real Man United fan, and I'm the fake one. So, you know, why don't you answer it? 
Talan Adim Shahanbhai, thank you for your question. Um, well, definitely expecting a fight uh, from United. I don't, I don't know they were the underdogs coming into the coming into the game, but I think they have hit a they have had a very good game against against Spurs. Uh, Ronaldo has, has hit form in the right time, and I sincerely believe that they have a very good chance of you know going through to the next round because this is a home match and they have had the away goal so i think i think away, they have a away goals are not irrelevant now they're not away goals don't matter anyway anymore they don't no this is a no no, no. no. i was not aware of that but this anyway, doesn't. I, was, I wasn't aware of that but anyway so this the they have hit a small patch of form in the right time i have high hopes for them i i believe i believe it will be a I hope it will be a one nil score. Okay. Or a two one score. What? I don't think it's, right. it's a, I don't think I don't think United keeps a clean sheet anyway. I think I hope for a two one score. Two one score line. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I, I found a lost uh something happened like that, ticket. I found this guy way back during the Euros and he was with us. Until I think game week eight nine, okay, sir. and then you know the Laila Mosnu pair happened, and then he got lost. And now he's coming back again with his long lost love for Ghana football fantasy, and he's back. And it's Adnan bin Simon. Good to see you, brother. Thank you so much. It's great to have you back. I hope you are still watching. And he says hello, everyone. It's been long time. I've got only eight players for next week, minus four or minus eight. Ashfaq. Yeah, uh, got eight players for the next week, minus four or minus eight. Uh, Adam bin Simon, bhai, if you have eight players, like we said, we're not expecting a really high scoring game week. Uh, I don't see a real necessity to play 10 or 11 players here. But if you do not have uh, Arsenal or Spurs representation in your team, I think minus it's unnecessary because there will be very good captaincy options. So if you already have them, I don't think a minus hit is necessary. But if you don't, take a minus hit, get Son, Kane, Saka, etc., etc., and captain one of them. Yeah. So looking at Adnan Min Simon, I can remember one of the this hit songs that came out in a Jane Mary Jane Man, Bachpan Ka Pyar Hai. <laughs> so yeah, this 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 you know he coming back to the show, it kind of reminds me of that song Jane Mary Jane Man, Bachpan Ka Pyar Hai. Good to see you. Good to see you, Adnan. I hope you are still watching. Um, Saif, Mualamin Bhai is asking. Mualamin Bhai, thank you so much for all your support, Bhai. Uh, Johnson Shear starter? I think it's different to Ben Johnson. Uh, Johnson started to say Karanutse Kofal is out for the time being, but I think he will have competition from Fredericks. So I don't think he is a sure starter. I think he will rotate with Ryan Fredericks also because they have Europa commitments. So I think rotation will be right. So I don't think he is a sure starter. Right. Okay. Okay. Al Muzaid Bhai uh, Ashfaq is asking thanks Nadim Bhai. The Ghano Live is blessing for me. After watching Ghano Live, I got 103.12. 413 total average points. Only in four game weeks. Okay, that's the average points. Okay, okay. I was like, how can you get 103.12 per game week? I was like, how is that possible? Um, anyway, yeah, average points only in four game weeks, and now I'm looking forward to getting 2,500 points overall. Al Mujahid Bhai, we would appreciate this being part of our your review in our page. Please do, Bhai, and we would really love it. Thank you so much for the comment, of course. We really appreciate it. Which is great. I didn't get so much a year. Nije boli, but you know, Nije Patsina, you get it, which is great. That's it. But please do support us by give us a review like this. We would be really happy. Rate us as well if you can. Thank you so much, bhai. Great. Great that our objective is being fulfilled. Yeah. Right. Okay. Mahmoud Rasan Munim says, uh, Can you guys suggest a 6.2 million mid? For gaming 30. Saif? I think Martinelli can be a good option. He is 5 point something, I think. 
Martinelli. I think I just missed my cue. Based on my smile. I just realized. Yeah. Anyway, anyway go ahead. Go ahead, Saif. Please answer Martinelli. this one. Uh, also, Ericsson. I think uh, below six point two. I I prefer Ericsson and Martinelli. So, whichever you would like, you can pick. Ben Rama. Right. Oh yeah, Ben Rama is another one. He has dropped from his. Yeah. He is looking sharp, by the way. Yeah, he's looking like the season beginning, beginning of the season. Ben Rama, kind of a player again, right? Okay, Adnan bin Simon says Ashfaq, eight players with Kane and one free FT um, have Kulishevsky and Kane. Any other players or players with taking a hit? I think, like we already mentioned, eight players should be sufficient for this game. Uh, obviously, you have the one FT. Uh, I don't know the rest of your team, but having Arsenal representation is, I think, would also be wise. If you don't have Saka, bring in Saka. Doherty could be another good option because he's invested for the long term. So between you know Doherty and maybe um, having Arsenal representation, you should go go for them. Right. Okay, Saif. Um, Abdul Alim Bhai is still watching. He commented right at the beginning, and he's still watching, which is great, Abdul Alim Bhai. We really love it that you are watching all the entire pod. So, um, Saif Bhai is asking, game week 33 te jotesh to big money hoche. 36 game week ke kato will team er match thakte pare, Bhai. What do you think? I can give a give an answer, but possible double game week gula dekhe monochon ek big, but. একটা হইলে একটা হবে না এরকম অনেকগুলা কম্বিনেশন আছে আর কি যেমন ম্যান সিটির ডাবল গেম উইক হইলে আর্সেনাল পারবে না এবং আর্সেনাল এবং সাউথাম্পটন দুজনেরই ডাবল গেম উইক হবে না সো ইট ডিপেন্ডেন্টস অন দা এফএ কাপ কোয়ার্টার ফাইনাল রেজাল্টস সো সো উই উইল হ্যাভ এন আইডিয়া বাই গেম উইক 31 আই উইল হ্যাভ এন আইডিয়া বাই আই উইল অলসো देयर উইল বি সাম টিমস উইল উইল ব্ল্যাঙ্ক সো 32 উইল বি এন উইয়ার্ড গেম উইক সো देयर উইল বি থ্রি অর ফোর টিমস উইল ব্ল্যাঙ্ক এন্ড ব্ল্যাঙ্ক এন্ড ফোর অর ফাইভ টিমস উইল হ্যাভ এ ডাবল গেম উইক সো Free hit can be a good option in 33, and as per Ben Taylor, 36 will be the biggest, and it's, it's still on course to be the biggest double game week of the season. At, at, as much as 12, as many as 12 teams will likely have a double game week in 36. So it will. Be no, I think 16. I think 16 teams. He said. Uh, he has said 12. I think, and there will be another double game week in 37 too. And yeah. four or five teams will have double game. But, but a smaller, smaller double game. Yeah, smaller. But like Ashley Thakbe. I can I'm not just a bolt is lamaki. This is the station. I'll put a by Shuru Abe Jokona Thambena by. Anyway, so that's that. Um, so Munin says, I don't know what is this number. I can't count. I'm a Onku Kubi Durbal. I don't know if it is Aklak Ashi as a Akoti Ashilak Naki Atharula Atharokoti Naki Aksho Ashi Koti. I don't know what it is. But Munin, thank you so much, bhai. I hope we get one day, there is a time, you know, when we are so big. I think if we are that big, I think we are superstars already in the FPL community, right? In Around the world. So, yeah, this will take time. Yeah, we'll have we'll have loads of people then. Entire team of uh, Gono Football Fantasy doing a lot of stuff. Right. Anyway, so that's what it support. comes to. Thanks for the support, by the way. Um, Adnan Bin Simon then says, Nadim Bhai equals to Akir Bitor Shab. Okay, thanks Adnan. I think I know, understand why this comment came in and on what perspective. So I get it. So Shian Naim Bhai is back. Shian Naim Bhai, thank you so much for joining. And good to see you again. Uh, minus 4, 8, 11, adult player, uh, free hit to save Kote Chachi. What do you think? Saif. Free hit, Oboshi, save Korban. Not a player, Ibni একটা ট্রান্সফার নে 10টা দিয়ে খেলতে পারেন বাট আপনি যদি কোন প্লেয়ার কে খুব মনে হয় যে এই গেমে কিনতে যাচ্ছেন সো আই থিং ইউ ক্যান টেক এ হিট এন্ড প্লে 11 প্লেয়ার্স বাট ডোন্ট টেক এ হিট জাস্ট টু পিক 11 প্লেয়ার্স পিক এ প্লেয়ার হু উইল বি লং টার্ম পিক জাস্ট ডোন্ট ফর দিস গেম উইক সো ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু টেক এ হিট গো ফর সামওয়ান হু উইল বি লং টার্ম পিক লাইক হোয়াইট অর লাইক সামওয়ান লাইক বার্নস অর লেস্টার মিড হু উইল হু উইল হ্যাভ সাম ডাবল গেম উইকস টু কাম সো you are in a very good position in this game so you can easily save the field right ashfaq if you think i missed my cue actually that was not the case i had the fortunate amount of time to read the next comment and i saw it was man united related so i thought i'll pass it to saif the previous one 
and come back to you with this man united question comes the question comes from mohammad anar isu bhai thank you so much again for the comment tetrishe ki man united is double um as per now the official premier league united has double against liverpool and norwich but uh, the news is very new so i'm um, i haven't seen the tweet yet like side by had seen the ben credence tweet they have a very good chance of doubling but i'm not sure if it's confirmed yet because there is still some dependency on the fa cup quarter finals but if they do norwich and liverpool they will have a double game week against norwich and liverpool so that's that right uh anor you should buy you will definitely you are part of the group i know um so you will definitely get the updates from us as and when it's confirmed or if there is any other clause in it so kono shorto ba kichu thakle we'll explain that as well um so um saif shian nine by is coming back with another question ramsdale duarte tierney johnson son kudu saka rafina madison burns nibo uh, himenez watkins tony that's my team what do you think আপনি আমার আগের কোশ্চেনটা রিসেন্ট সাইড ফেরে এই কোশ্চেনটা দেওয়ার জন্য আগের কোশ্চেনে जस्ट রিপিট করে একটু যে ম্যানুয়েলের ডাবলটা কনফার্ম ইট ইজ নট ডিপেন্ডেন্ট অন এফ এ কাপ কোয়ালিফায়ার রেজাল্ট ওকে গ্রেট গ্রেট ম্যানু উইল হ্যাভ এ ডাবল গেম উইক এনিওয়ে ইন 33 ওকে হিয়ার গোজ দ্য রোনাল্ডো ট্রেন নরউইচ এন্ড নরউইচ এন্ড লিভারপুল ইয়া সো গোইং টু দিস কোশ্চেন Madison and Barnes ki Rafina ar bodola niben I would not suggest that because Rafina has a game this game week so I I'd say it's a luxury transfer this game there is not a necessary transfer and uh, same name by Johnson can educate for Siren I uh, so let's see who, which one of Johnson or Fredrick is starting the middle uh, midweek game so Johnson might or might not start but I think in the double game you have uh, you have 10 players without Johnson anyway so I think it's a very good team uh, you not need not fret about Johnson if he plays fine but 10 players are very good and you have uh, almost uh, all the big players covered except for King but I think Son captaincy might cover for King right so every time um, saif sees the name rafinia he starts singing dil ko tumse pyar hua pehli baar hua you know he never stops loving rafinia by the way so yeah you can understand a bit of biasness coming when it comes to rafinia and that biasness is yeah i know i know i know uh, parvez is a khub pasand hai ekdam player but i i i, I somehow feel he is a dhokebaaz and i don't like dhokebaazes anyway um There you go, Ashfaq. And next question from Muhammad Anwar Yusuf Bhai, and he says Adams to Tony and Willock to Madison with a hit. Ashfaq would say keep Willock. No, I would not. Why would I say keep Willock? He does not have a game in game with thirty. Good move, definitely go for it. All right, Ashfaq. I'm in the mood to pull your leg today. Um, if Tasmim is watching, yeah. he's definitely having a lot of laugh over yeah. there in Denmark. You're lucky. You're so, lucky. Yeah. I'm tired. Okay. Um, then he follows up with another question. Uh, I think it's more or less the same question, but with a slight twist in it. Saif, um, we look to Madison or Cotino. Just going by the fixtures to come, I would prefer a lesser mate. So I would say we look to Madison because Leicester. have some good fixtures to come and they will have some double game weeks but aston villa i don't think will have any more double game week because they have they don't have any fixtures to reach you so i think we look to madison is the pick right dhoke baaz madison i will never take him but anyway that's me um i might change my plan again so don't trust me on that um Tanvir Latif Bhai is coming by, uh, coming back with a question uh, or a comment rather. Nadim Bhai jealous for now. Wild card play Banai Sila matter last game week. You have no suggestion here. Hoping for better returns Wednesday and next game week. You are all awesome. Thank you so much, Bhai. Um, I'm not jealous actually. I'm just like 
Banais is a big team, and of course, you played a wild card. Now I get it. I was like, how do you make so many moves to get into that team? Now I see you played a wild card, so it's okay, boy. I'm a wild card. I say I will play it in a thirty-four. Team Belunathai. Tau thik, tau thik. It's a it's a pretty strong team. It's a pretty strong team. I'm, I think the best team that I've seen so far. So, yeah. Oh look, Maru Muktadir Khan Bhai is still back and he's still watching and it's good to see that. Um, Bhai, thank you so much. I have six players in game week thirty with a free hit. If I have two free hits, one could be saved for thirty C. What will I do with the other free hit if I do not use it in thirty? I'll bench boost in thirty six and wild card before that. Now here is one option. This is where uh, Ashwak. I'll give this question to you, but I will make a reference to the chip strategy that we have. Uh, yeah. So just let me bring that up, and in the meantime, Ashwak, if you can cover this up. Yeah, there it is, and here you go. So, Maru Bhutta, everybody, thank you for your question. Um, so, basically, my team is in a similar position to yours. I have six players playing. If Bowen does not play, um, my current strategy is to probably take a hit and play eight players, and then. My first free hit would be in game week thirty three, and my second free hit would probably be in game week thirty seven. Ah, ekhane dek benje the strategies which we mentioned or which we suggested, people who have two free hits. So apni dek benje ekhane ah because the middle section two free hits. I'm having issues with my lighting. One second, just turning off my video for some time. Um, so two free hits eh. Free hit one is game week thirty three. Uh, game week thirty four is the wild card. You can play it in game week thirty five too if you want. Game week thirty six is the bench boost, and game week thirty seven is the free hit. Other option would be to free hit in game week thirty. Another free hit in game week thirty three. Game week thirty four wild card, and game week thirty six that well game week thirty six could be the bench boost for you too as well. So that is a strategy that you would go for, provided you are not. Uh, having you you don't want to play your game with uh, free hit in game with thirty, so if you're not playing in thirty, the other best time to play would be in game with thirty seven because as per our understanding, game with thirty seven would be a double game week as well, but it would be a smaller double game week. Probably four to five teams will have uh, double game weeks to play. Right. Okay. So um, I think strategy B is more applicable for you, boy. Maruf Mukhtarji, boy, you can play it in game week thirty-seven. Yeah, and we will tell you exactly because thirty-seven is kisu juicy, bhalo fixture ase single game week. Our kisu shadaran to double game week our possibility ase. So yeah, we'll get back to you on this. Don't worry about it. For the time being, focus on the thirty-three uh, free hit. We will discuss about this more later. Um, Hamimun Rahim is coming back with a question again, Saif, and he says, "Odd question: Whom would you pick if you can only have one among them, Kia or Salah and Saka or Laka?" Question based on FPL Uno tournament arranged by FPL BD Group. So, I don't know what this Uno tournament is. But I never played this tournament, so I don't know. But he says, "Pick one." The tournament, but I am guessing the question is about. Um, Pick one from the uh, one from each pair. So, yeah. T A or Sala and Saka or Lata. So, I would go for T A and Saka because right. um, current from Saka can cover for Sala, but T A is unique. He has attacking potential. He has clean sheet potential. So I think T A and Sala will be my pick from these two options. Right. Okay. Um, so here he comes, uh, Mahmudul Hasan Munim, with a comment. Ronaldo brace in coming following the announcement of Manchester United's double game week. Yeah. Okay. And then Adnan bin Simon, of course, he's back with a comment saying, you know, re re in reaction to my comments that I said about my Laila Majnun and everything. Yeah. He said I followed brother, but unfortunately I was detached for some academic and personal reasons. Of course, we fully understand brother. Uh, but hopefully, I'm on again till the last week. That's good. So we'll get to see you more often again, right? So Muhammad Anar Yusuf comes back um, with this question: um, We look to Madison or Cotton. Yeah, I think we already we, answered this. We answered, yeah. we answered this, and it was from him only. So we already answered that. Um, Anwar Yusuf, if you haven't heard, we'll get back to you on this later on. Um, 
Shia nine by says app to fixture gula diye this already confirm na hole to dawar kotha na. Right, it is um, confirmed. I think then it is confirmed. Like amra by port korte si so I really don't have that information and I don't want to make a wrong comment about it. But app diye dile that means the fixtures are more or less confirmed. But again, fixture jokhon confirm hoye ho jai. Airport ekinte fixture abar blank hai ke lekin tarar chora hai fellay. So be yeah, careful it's, with it's that. Very, very latest news for us. Uh, I think it was only announced a few hours back. So we were, we were still trying to analyze the things and pick up the combinations. But like side by side, Ben Krillin is pretty accurate with the fixture analysis and the fixture prediction. So based on Ben Krillin's tweet, although the Premier League has an, announced it, uh, there's a good chance that they, they might still be rescheduled based on the FA Cup quarterfinal um, Results. So I haven't it. seen the app which fixtures have been added, but uh, as I said, Ben Crane has mentioned that uh, five teams are confirmed. I five teams have confirmed double games, so I think those fixtures might be added. But teams like Man City, Arsenal, and Liverpool, their double game is dependent on their uh, FA Cup results. So that's that. Right, guys. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I can't tell you actually. Ghum haram kora kono kisu nai. They are still far away. Kalke Shokale Mode Ba Posudine Mode Amade Page I'm a definitely any act of Halo clear update divo. So you can read through that. And of course, if you have questions about it, you can ask us and we'll be able to thirty three hotel. Thirty Exactly. Exactly. No, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much right now. I'm on Etania Gumaram Korakisunai. Don't worry. Yeah. And you follow our page, of course, you do follow our page and we'll provide all these updates anyway. I mean, already people are working behind it. Parvez is surely looking at it already and trying to come up with some sort of solutions as to how we can navigate. So, yeah, some analysis is going already uh, behind the scene. Don't worry about it. Um, so, Marjuk Raman Bhai is back again. Marjuk Raman Bhai, good to see you and thank you so much for joining again. I have one free hit and one bench boost left. Suggest me the best gimmick for using these two. Ashfa, Saif, I'll come to you again and I'll bring the free hit, uh, sorry, cheap strategy uh, to you. Saif, over to you. In my opinion, I think uh, if you have only one free hit left, I think the best game to, best game to play it is in game 33 because it will be a mixture of a double and blank. It will be a double blank double game week so some some teams will blank and some teams will double so i think people who doesn't have any wild card or will only use free transfer i think they will find it tough to incorporate all the fixtures so it will be a very uh, i think it will be very profitable to play the feed in that game week and also for bench boost i think we all kind of agree that double game week 36 is the best bet for bench boost because it will be a big double game week at least 12 to 14 teams will have a double game week so it's more uh, it can be possible to have at least uh, 15 double game week players and bench boost with fifth, all 15 so you, you can get 30 fixtures so i think bench for bench boost uh, there is no question the 36 is the best option and an alternative to free hit the alternative for playing free hit to 33 would be 37 uh, if you can navigate 33, you can play the free hit in 37 because 37 there will be some teams who will have a double, uh, double game week, but those teams will not likely have a double game week 36. So people will not be loaded up on those teams. So you can again gain some advantage by playing a free hit then. Right. Okay. Thanks. I think that's very clear. But if you are not clear still, this will be uploaded in the web page tomorrow. You can have a look and see as to which is the right way to play for you. And you can decide. This will be shared in the page, don't worry. Yeah. I promise you that we will update it. And we will share it. So that's it. Yeah. Over. So I think this is the last question that I see. And it comes from Abdan Bin Simon, of course. So Ashfaq, over to you for this last question. Um, Cash Dorati Nuri, TA and Robo, Kulu uh, Odegaard, Rafinha, Salah to Mount, um, Ken Jimenez, Broja, one FT remaining. So this is his team. What do you think? 
So you have eight players playing. I think this is a decent team. Only um, only negative side on this team, I think you do not have adequate Arsenal representation, especially in attack. I don't think Odegaard is enough. It's a personal opinion. I think Odegaard is enough representation um, for the, the Arsenal attack. Um, so either you could go for... Mount to Saka, that is one option you could go for. Or if you can afford um, Brohia to someone like Tony. So Brohia to Tony or Mount to Saka, your call. Right. Okay. Then he comes up with a follow up question. And there are two more questions that came in while you're answering. Uh, he says, What about free hooting in Gimmick 36? Saif, what do you think about that? Free hooting in 36? I don't uh, really like the free hit in 36 because I think the advantage won't be that much higher because almost all all of us will know which teams will have double uh, game week in 36 so we can plan accordingly so I think almost all active managers will likely have 10 to 11 double game players anyway so well, I don't think there is an ad advantage to gain by free hitting but there is definite advantage in playing playing the bench boost in that game week and there is definite higher advantage of playing free hit in 33 or 37 because people won't be prepared that much for 33 or 37 as much as they would be prepared for 36. It's all about right, Adnan, for me. Yeah, Adnan, this is what I am thinking. So, 36 is a regular fixture. I say, I am 34. I am not playing free hit in 36. Amar Duta Freed Bakiyache, one is definitely going in 33. The other one I will probably use in 36. But I'm 36 is Kelbona, Judy, I'm Jante Vari Chotwisher Mundi. These are the fixtures. Then I'm playing wildcard on that game. Some wildcard detail team Manafal Tarabu. Then I'll play it on 37. But Judy, I'm the Hindu poetry, but Chotwisha Jami Agaga Janta, this is a 36 Yatabula Manisha blank at the double game. Then I'm playing the free hit on 36. That's my option. Right. Okay, <coughs> sorry for that. That really came out bad. Um, sorry. Um, Sabir Hak, Sabir this is the first time I'm seeing you on our pod. So thank you so much for so late night and staying with us and commenting on this. Really appreciate this, brother. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Salam, brothers. Rudiger and Fraser out. Dohati and Barnes in with a minus four suggestion. Ashwak, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Um, yeah. Doherty is a, is a long-term pick and Leicester already has a lot of uh, fixtures still left to be rescheduled. So I think both are long-term picks anyway. So definitely go for it. Okay. Okay. Right. So the last question for the day so far. Uh, I hope there no further question comes in. I think it's already quite late. So let's call it a day today. Um, and Bolton are both the question to last year. <laughs> Right. Um, so it's good. Um, Mazuk Rahman Bhai is saying have nine players for Game Week 30, including so Ethnuri. Should I transfer him out? Basically, I'm, bas I'm thinking basically we should speed up our answers because the longer we are taking to answer our questions, another question keeps coming up. Exactly. That's a good strategy. Let's try this uh, with this one. Mm -hmm. Have nine players for double Game Week 30, uh, including Ethnuri. Should I transfer him out and get a nailed on player? Saif, what do you think? I don't think so because. I, I think he will play and you can transfer him out after this game but not I uh, think not he will he'll play as well I think Marcel so, will go come go to go to right back right back even if Marcel does not go to right back I think I know he play anyway because he was rotated in the last game week so it's his turn to feature now so I don't think uh, you should transfer him out this in this game week you can transfer him out after this game week and you can then get see which players do you, which player you definitely want to bring? Okay, I'm, I think uh, Ashwag and we are laughing for the same reason, <laughs> right? Okay, um, okay. This this question came in, uh, Anwar Yusubai, and we answered this question, but you seem to probably have missed the question, or probably have missed hearing us answer the question. So let's just answer it to him because he's staying so late and he's asking it again and again. So let's just answer it. Um, Ashwat, what do you think? Barnes, Madison or Cotino? Ashwat? Um, sorry, I'm having some issues with my video. 
um, between Barnes and Madison, uh, we already made a made a um, comparison analysis that which side by suggested that Barnes is the better pick because of his goal threat, and I suggested Madison because of his XGI and him being on set pieces and uh, and free kicks as well. Uh, Barnes, Madison, or Coutinho? Well, I think Barnes and Madison has the easier fixture. Uh, Coutinho would be the more popular pick because a lot of people already own Coutinho. But if you want to bring someone in, I think between Barnes and Madison, pick one because I believe they have the easier fixture. Right. Okay. So then he comes up with a follow-up question, and five. This is the question for you. Last question, and then with a kind of an emoji. Adam Sutoni, five. Uh, I would not do Adam Sutoni because. I think Tony, even though Tony has a fixture in this game, with the fixtures to come are better, much better for Adams. They will play Leeds, I think, and they have a fixture against Watford. So I think Adams has long-term potential, but Tony does not have. So if you can bring in, bring him, to, bring in Tony for another forward, I would do that, but not Adams to Tony. Right. Okay, that concludes. That really concludes this time. No more questions coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we raise our hands. Yeah. I want to share a sad news, uh, although it's not related to FPL. Uh, if you follow WWE in the 90s, Razor passed away due to a heart attack. Just this not, not, oh. not, not, not heart attack. Not heart attack. He had a complication regarding a surgery that he had. So uh, he died of a complication what, regarding no, regarding no. So What I gathered, he fell in his house and bro broke his hip. So he was yeah. rushed to the hospital, and after being admitted in the hospital, he has three heart attacks. So after that, he was placed in life support, and then his life support has now been taken away. So he passed away last night. Oh, wow. I was a big fan of him. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, man. Me too. Yeah, he had the finishing move, uh, the razor's edge. Yeah, move. yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, say hello to the bed. Anyway, may his soul rest in peace and condolences to his family, of course. Yeah, but on that sad note, but also on the happy note that double gimmick uh, 29 is not over. And all the best to Salah Triple Captain owner owners. And of course, good luck to you guys. And we're not sure we'll be back for a uh, deadline stream or not, but we will let you, you know. You don't mean that for me, do you? Sorry? You don't mean that for me, do you? Good luck to you guys. Yeah, I do, I do, but I just don't want you to overtake me. That's it. That's all I mean. I mean, you can get green arrows. That's not a problem, but don't overtake me. Yeah, that's what I mean. Saif, I hope you get a red arrow. I hope you get a red arrow. Reminder for everyone: even though there are only four fixtures, the deadline is on Friday, so don't miss out. Yes, and I'm I'm not sure whether we'll be able to do a deadline on Friday because it's a long weekend and most of the people will be probably on holidays so um just to let everybody know we'll announce it again if we have a pod we'll announce it if we don't have a pod we'll announce it but yeah if we don't see you if we don't see you we'll see you after the international break i hope you guys have a wonderful week all the very best and good luck and see you later don't leave us continue to support us your reviews count please do review thank you so much all the very best take care guys Saif and Ashfaq, thank you for joining. Take care. Bye.